Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome to Beaver Town. Timberborn came out with a new update. Just uh, this launched, I think, on Thursday. I want to say I think it was Thursday. This came out. Update number five, adding bad water to the game, as well as some uh, new craftable uh, machinery and things to keep your uh, keep your beavers busy. <laughs> Uh, big thanks to the uh, developer of the game for providing a key so we could check this out. I haven't played Timberform before, but I was aware of it. I know my buddy Nate played it. Uh, I was kind of interested in checking it out myself, but this is the first opportunity I've got. So this is going to be kind of a learning experience for me. Consequently, I will be playing a, uh, a new game on a on an easier level while I figure this out. Expect some mistakes to be made, but hopefully uh, still be a good time. Welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very, very much for the support. It's greatly appreciated. A special thanks to those top tier mistakes were made members that chose that top option as well. Uh, there are two factions in the game, but I think we actually have to like play mm, to a certain a point before we can get this one. Uh, to unlock average well-being of 15 while playing Folk Tales. So we've got to get well-being up on mm, these basic guys before we can go for the more difficult ones, I guess. So we'll see what happens. Still snow with the super chat. Yay! Timberborn, I played this game. Awesome. Thank you for the super chat. Alright, well let's uh let's fire up the folk tales and see what happens here. Uh there are three levels that are like the uh the beginner levels or beginner friendly. We're gonna pick one of those. Um I guess this is uh the lakes map. We've got the plains map. Well, there's a lot of dead space on this one. And then we've got waterfalls. Ooh, I like waterfalls. Maybe we'll do that one. <clears throat> So we've got the waterfalls map. This is the bad water here in red, you can see, and then there's a the regular blue water. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the effect is of the bad water. I'm assuming it's bad, you know, because the name. <laughs> but I know there's like a, there's special machinery they've added to the game that's uh, specifically for like pumping out the bad water and doing stuff with it. So we'll see what it's all about. It's a great game. Uh, we name beavers always with the chance of death. Yep, still snow. We'll be naming the beavers. What would you like to call the settlement? Um, uh, I don't know. Beaver Grave? <laughs> That's what we'll call it. It's be Oh, I can't have question marks in it, apparently. House of Snow. All right, we'll call it the House of Snow. Welcome to the House of Snow. Um, so there is a tutorial that's going to run in the bottom right hand corner. I think we're probably going to be following that because I got to figure the game out. Um, I did toy around with the game a little bit uh, so I could get at least some idea of what was happening. But I am a complete noob, so lots uh, lots to learn. Uh, this is cool. There's a whole waterfall system here. I guess this is where the water comes into the map. Here's the bad water over here with this ruined city. We've got the bad water running all around the back end of things here. Apparently it comes out up here. There's about those two little whirlpool things. But for now, we got clean water, so that's good. Hey, Need Mock, how you doing? Uh, welcome. This tutorial will help you set up the basics of building a beaver settlement. So we got to uh, place a lumberjack flag. We need two of those in order for our glorious beavers to do their chopping. Uh, that'll be over here. I guess I, I might as well put one to the left and one to the right. We'll get the trees on both sides. What I don't know is if I can chop down the dead trees. Hopefully we can get wood out of those ones too and we'll put the other one over here there we go okay we're gonna build the lumberjack flags get to work little beavers make my things do the stuffs I'm interested in this game glad I could catch you playing it welcome fab happy Fergus <laughs> good name <laughs> Need to test bad water for science. Yeah, so there are like, um, I did notice when I was looking through the different stuff in here, there are like pumps for bad water. Um, somewhere. Oh, there's the bad water rig there. Seals a bad water source. Employ workers to extract bad water directly from the source. Ground only, must be built on the ground. So for example, like um, this thing here looks like it's like a capping system. So there's uh, up here, there's Two bad water sources coming out of the ground right here, it looks like. So you probably have to get in there somehow and seal it off. Maybe when there's a drought or something you can do that? I don't know. Uh, connect the lumberjack flag. So we gotta do roadways so that the things will work. Because it's one of those types of games. I'll just stretch that right across. Boom, done. Mark trees for cutting. That's uh, over here. Gotta cut trees. 
I'm hoping, like I said, that we can cut these ones too. We're gonna find out. Cut all those trees, cut all these trees, we're gonna need lots of lumber. This is beaver town after all. Mm -mm -mm. She's marked for cutting. We gotta build a water pump. So obviously that'll have to be down at the water line. Uh that will be in here, I guess. Water pump. Little pop-ups in the way. We can spin the map at least. Yeah, we'll stick it there, I guess. Actually, we'll put it over here. And then that will need to be connected by a path also, I guess. Looks like the paths are free to build, which is nice. And the fact that they're instant is good, too. Some of the other, like, city management games I've played, they have, you have to, like, wait for people to build the, uh... Build the pathways and stuff. It's kind of a bummer. I'm gonna speed the time up a bit, because... These beavers are not necessarily the fastest working. I like that you can get the, uh, the view angle way down low with them, too, so you can, like, get a good close-up view of all your wonderful beaverkin. Doing all their work and stuff. All survival games start with cutting trees. They sure do. So I do want to name the beavers. We have uh, 12 of them right now. Let's just start naming them. I'm not going to pay attention to the uh, particular sex of the beavers because that's, that's more work than it's worth. Get a bunch of, bunch of beaver names going in here. Between, uh, between Pal World and this, I'm gonna spend a lot of time typing out names of people, I guess. More beavers, the better. Giggity. <laughs> this game is just, like, perfectly set up for all the most inappropriate jokes. <laughs> Shaved beaver. <laughs> Okay, so those are the adults, and then I guess we have four four child beavers, and those ones will grow up to be adults eventually. We won't ask this child beaver how we got Fab Happy Fergus is the name. <laughs> the hard part's gonna be like with them like giving birth to new beavers and dying and stuff, it's gonna be uh It's gonna be challenging staying on top of like keeping them all named. When this was slow to load, I was thinking, oh no, not again. Yeah, no, no, there was just some drama in my household on Thursday. Kids were being a little... Uh... Vocal, let's just say. RP, there we go. Okay, we got all our beavers named, all 12 of them. Congratulations, beavers. We got a water pump, too. That's good. Uh, okay. In addition to the water, beavers also need food, so we gotta build the gatherer flags. Let's see these ones here. Uh, and I guess it just applies to a whole area. Now, they don't have any... No, they do have stairs over here. So if I put the gathering flag over here... Somewhere nearish. Oh. The closer I get it to the stairs, the more they can actually cover the... No. Hmm. Alright, we're not going to be able to get the upper, the upper berries, I guess. We'll go with the lower ones for now. Build it there. Get to work, beavers! Duct tape fixes everything. You sure they'll grow up? Some adults still haven't grown up. Yeah, well, I mean, they'll get bigger anyway. <laughs> I'll never grow up. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you still, Snow. I mean, heck, I still play video games. Yeah. See this game a few times, but haven't bought it yet. So I was aware of this game actually before it was released, uh, and I was gonna check out the demo, and then I got uh, busy doing other things. Didn't check it out, and then the the full game launched, and I was focused on some other games then. And oh my god, they're all sleeping on the ground. These, wait, these ones are spooning. And beavers is spooning right there. That must be a couple right there. They're just staying together for warmth. That's all. It gets cold at night. There's a drunk beaver, you'll take that one. <laughs> well, I don't know if we can craft alcohol in this game. One could hope, but... Uh, settlement needs a stable food source. Build a farmhouse to plant and harvest crops. If you're running low on workers, you can... Uh, Alright, so efficient farmhouse we have to build. Now, in order to grow farm crops, we have to have water supply. So I guess... We're either going to need to, like, build it across the river over here somehow. 
Uh, or just take up all the room over here for farming. I kind of feel like putting it across the water. Actually, there's um, I know there are like droughts and stuff in this game, so I'm thinking if we um, if we put a dam or something in place that might help. Oh wait a minute. Is this all this is all bad water over here? I would think. What what will happen if I dam up and the uh, the river down here? Hope it doesn't backwash. That would be inconvenient. All right. Uh, so in landscaping, we've got access to the dam. That's going to take a bunch of wood, which is kind of not ideal at this time. But we'll set a dam in here so we can get a farm on the other side. Uh, that's going to need a trail, also, I guess. See how long it takes us to build that sucker. <laughs> that might take a while. You should name a beaver Chuck. <laughs> Chuck Beaver? Name one Cleaver. Maybe. Beaver Cleaver. Be interested to see what we can do with the bad water. Like, if it's really just a like a function of making like like avoiding it, because it contaminates the soil all around it, it looks like. So is it just about like sealing it off and avoiding it, or is there actually like a useful purpose we can put the bad water to? Those are berries over here, I guess I could gather. Damned if you don't, damned if you don't. yeah. <laughs> Two things excitement, expensive toys and real expensive toys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm always saying to my wife. Guys don't really grow up. We just get more expensive toys. Let's uh, speed up time a little bit further. They're really not the fastest working beavers. Maybe I should just build the farmhouse over here. I still want this territory over here because that's going to be useful. But uh, And the dam will be useful too because that will seal in some water for me when there's a drought. But... The naughtiest thing said on Black and White TV. Ward, I think you were a little hard on the beaver last night. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that part of an Eminem song or something? Actually, can I put the farm... I don't think the farmhouse has to be like directly connected with the crops. So I'm going to build it over here in the use useless ground. Fish and farmhouse. There we go. I'll put that over there and then I'll just say, I'll use the, um, the good land over here for the crops. Because I was... Thinking I was gonna run out if I had to put the house and the the ground over here at the same time. Should put it down on the other side too. Uh once I can get over there, you mean you're talking about like right here, right? I'm like if we can if we throw one in here, it's too far or distant from oh I can't even build over there right now. I guess I gotta build paths or something over there first. Let's increase the priority on the farmhouse so we can get the uh, tutorial advancement here. <laughs> Wally and the beaver. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? About 13 cords. I can see that this game is going to be a lot of like sitting and waiting for the beavers to accomplish things. They're busy. But it takes them a while. Nothing to do in range. What are you talking about? Oh, that was the belt. Okay, uh, so we got the efficient farmhouse. Now we need to plant carrots. We have to have a hundred of those planted, so that's going to take a bit. Uh, carrots? How much is 100? Okay, well that's 88. That's 99. Oh, really? I'm off by one. <laughs> All right, we'll put we'll put that one up here. Or over here. No, over here. Perfect. Good work, beavers. Wait, you said how much, but never specified a duration. Is that 13 a day, week, month, year? Listen, don't get too specific on me. I don't deal in specifics. I deal in vagaries. 
There's max distance beavers can go. I've heard that before, but I've never experienced it. Uh, while all the buildings you place have some stores, they will fill up quickly. Build additional stockpiles for logs and water. Each storage can be blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, uh, storage. That is over here. We got a large pile for the logs. 180 capacity in this thing. I guess we'll put it over here in the useless ground. Well, currently useless. I guess if we, uh, if we found a way to, like, hydrate it, it would be all right. Oh, actually, I can stick it right in between. Bam, we'll slap it in there. That way it's close to closer to both things. For wood. And then we need uh, building small tanks. That's uh, this one here, I guess. I guess we might as well put them close to this. Or, is it better to have some, like, in the center part of town? Because the beavers are going to want to drink from there. Whatever. We'll build them that way for now. I gotta learn a bit about the game to learn where it's best to put things, but I'm thinking, like, that way the, the beavers that are over here working don't have to go all the way down to the pump to get it. Not that it's necessarily that far, but... <clears throat> Warcraft 2. So, is this Warcraft 2 but for beavers? <laughs> uh, not so much. This is more of a community building thing, not so much a combat thing. We're building a, a little little beaver habitat. So basically the world's gotten wrecked. The beavers are left and the humans are gone. They've gotten a lot smarter. Oh, wait. I gotta set these tanks. Uh, set those for water. And then this thing I gotta set for wood, I guess? Yeah. There we go. Work stockpile complete. Work complete. It's the beaver show. Please don't throw any coins on stage. For this view, it looks like a tower defense game. Yeah, no, not so much. It's uh, it's really just building a community. You have to help them survive. So you're trying to grow the community, expand your research and the things you can do. Um, make sure you've got food and water to keep your beavers alive. All the good things. Yeah, it's a great game for Canadian to play. <laughs> Isn't it, though? I mean, really, it's kind of a great game for almost any guy to play. Giggity. Kind of have to defend from the droughts. Yeah, but that's not really defending. That's more like just building up to ensure you've got a sustainable... Sustainable beaver family. This thing is over here. I guess... Oh, that's the same depth as this. For a second, I thought this was deeper, and I was thinking if we could actually channel some water into there, we might actually be able to get a little reservoir. We probably still can eventually, but it's not as deep as I thought it would be. If I blow up this, that'll let water flow in here, so that'll bring this back to life. That's right, no Powell fluids tonight. Tumog with a six-month uh, renewal, I guess that is. Thanks, Tumog. Appreciate the support. Like I said, I think there's going to be a lot of, like, sitting and watching the beavers do their thing. Because they're not always the fastest. We've got this on as the fastest speed I can move it at right now. Is that possible? Sustainability? I wouldn't know. My beavers end up dead too soon. Too soon! <laughs> Have you played this game, Gene? I have a feeling the drought is going to wipe me out, but we're on, a, we're on an easy map, so... I'm sure they're going to take it easy on us and the droughts won't be too bad initially. One would hope. Up to about 30 different pals, including four bosses. Nice! I accidentally killed the boss last night. Didn't exactly mean for him to... Why are you... Is he thirsty? Dehydrated? Oh, they still don't have the water storage. What is going on? Why aren't they prioritizing building my water storage? Do this. My beavers need to drink, man. That's one dry beaver. Oh, 
Oh yes, hold on to that thought. <laughs> what, the beaver's getting, uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, so they went to they go to the water pump a drink. That beaver was just slacking off. Wasn't hydrating appropriately. Bad beaver. <laughs> oh my god. Crossbow's so OP, it's hard to get a uh, boss blow 10% without killing them. Yeah, I wasn't using a crossbow, though. <laughs> but the one I fought was only level 11, so... You know. Dry beaver is no giggity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Build more paths closer to the woods so they can get to them easier. Oh. So, will they... I, I assume they... I, it's hard to tell because they're scurrying around like crazy, but I assume they... Um, I assume they move more quickly on the paths than they do on other things. It's like, these are, they're in range. The, all the trees are in range. It's not that they can't reach them at all. There they go. Now they got the water tanks finished, finally. Okay, those are done. Uh, build medium warehouse. We gotta store uh, logs of water, have a place to store. You should prepare the same for berries and upcoming carrot harvest. Build medium warehouse two. Set one for carrots and one for berries. All right, well, it's probably best to have those at least reasonably close to... Uh, reasonably close to where we're harvesting crops. Can I stack these things? Probably could, but I don't have the stairs unlocked, I guess, so maybe... Maybe we won't try to stack them just yet. Okay, so this one can be uh, berries, and this one can be carrots. Look, they left a box of carrots in the field. Not some good H2O. Yeah, mmm, moist beaver. <laughs> uh, everyone builds the beaver towns differently. It doesn't matter how you build until you go so far from command. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not experienced in this game, so uh, don't expect pro tips from me. I'm going to be, like, sort of muddle muddling my way through it. See, this is what I don't like. All this, um, all this bad water is flowing down, and then it's meeting the flow from this river and being swept off this way. But if there's no longer any water flowing here, does the bad water keep going? And if so, will it, like, fill all the way back over here instead and, like, pollute my regular water? If so, that, that might be a problem. In which case, I, I may need a dam over here as soon as I can reach one. I would like to close this off because it's a small spot, but... Actually, let's... Can I put a roadway in here? Ugh, I can't go through trees. Well, I probably should have known that. It won't backflow? Okay. I was just thinking, like, if this dries up... I assume the bad water stops flowing, too, at the same time? So if it's a drought, it's a full-on drought, not just a good water drought. All right, homes increase your beavers' well-being and allow your folktale to uh, population to grow. Build enough lodges to house all your beavers. Beavers will not reproduce unless <laughs> they're empty slots for kits. Well, <laughs> we need to build six lodges. There's the housing. There's our lodges. Okay, again, these are going to go over where the uh, the bad ground is. And I think I can eventually, like, stack these on top of each other, but... I gotta go that way. Give them a little path in here. There we go. Wait, what's this guy's deal? Broken teeth! Oh my god, he broke his teeth! Do we do we have a beaver dentist? Like, what do we what do we do with that? <laughs> What's a beaver with broken teeth do? Oh my god! Construction lacks materials. That's just the housing. It's fine. They'll get to it. Hey, they got the dam finished over here. Nice. Uh, I could put another tree gathering thing on this side and gather the trees over here too. We have three beavers that aren't working, so that's maybe not a bad idea. 
Rotate. We'll stick it right there and then uh, mark some trees for chop fine over here. Put another beaver to work. That's right, gotta put those beavers to work. Calling Dr. Beaver. Is a teeth sharpener you can research? Well, that's good because that beaver is not gonna be terribly useful with broken teeth. What do they do in that case? Like maybe they just don't chop trees down, or they maybe they chop more slowly. Whatever the deal is, it seems bad, real bad. What a well-being! You can build a tooth grindstone. Where's well-being? Demolish, assign priority structures, storage, district management, housing, water, food, metal, science, well-being. Oh, teeth grindstone. Used to sharpen broken teeth. Visitors one. So I guess they could do it one at a time. Pretty small, but all right. I don't know where to put it. Whatever, stick it there. Chop at those teeth, beaver. Nobody likes a blunt beaver. Are you gonna mount and stuff any beavers? <laughs> oh, the jokes. Didn't predict any jokes. Don't know how it happened. And so I think three beavers per lodge, right? So I've got enough for 12 right now. We have enough to house them all, but the two extra ones, I guess, will be for them to, like, increase the population size. Drought approaching. Three days, apparently. Three days? We have a drought. That's not good. Uh, all right, I guess we're gonna find out what happens with the bad water. The important thing is they're filling up the tanks. I wonder if I could put, a, like, a second water pump down here. Oh, just enough room. Oh, we got two pumps. Well, well, they build it anyway. Uh, they finished the lodging, so that's good. We need to build the inventor. Science points are used to unlock more advanced buildings. The inventor will produce science points over time. That's in here. That is one smart beaver right there. Uh, whatever, we'll stick it over here, I guess. Keep it in the dry area. I going to play this yesterday. I was going to play it on Thursday, actually, and then uh, I had to cancel the stream at the last possible moment, like after I'd already clicked go live. <laughs> so unfortunately, I had to cancel on Thursday, and uh, so we're picking the game up today to give it a whirl. <laughs> oh, the uh, beaver grinder two things done. <laughs> Popularity. It looks like only one beaver's used it. I want to see a little beaver grinding their teeth on this thing. That'd be funny. Come on, beaver. Grind those teeth. I want to see you sharpen your teeth. <laughs> uh, is That's his tail, right? He's just sitting and that's the tail? <laughs> Awkward. Today on Timberborn, the first drought approaches. Will still snow survive the first drought? Stay tuned. I think we'll be alright, we got some water. I don't think they're gonna hammer me with like a huge drought like right off the bat. It's probably just a little drought. Like a baby drought. In 1.2 days apparently. Oh, we got the engine. Okay, so we gotta build a water wheel, which I guess will produce power for us. We need a water wheel. Um. Oh, over here, power. Water wheel. Where is it good to put this thing? I mean, I have a room over here, but what else do we do on the other side, I guess? Uh, all right, I guess we'll put it here. I don't know. Building lacks workers. Which building is that? Oh, no. Wait a minute, what's going on here? We got 12 beavers, why isn't this thing occupied? 
Yeah, crud. Probably because I have two water pumps going right now. <laughs> you can't handle the tooth. Efficient beaver management will reap rewards. Well, there won't be a whole lot of efficiency going on here today. I'm still figuring everything out. I don't, I don't really know where like a good place is to put everything or like what we want to focus on. All right, so we need to build a lumber mill and then power it. It's time to start producing planks. Build a lumber mill and connect it to the water wheel with power shafts. Many buildings can pass energy uh, to one another when placed wall to wall. Oh, okay. So if we go here and take our lumber mill, well, that's pretty decently sized. Can I, can I just like connect it directly to the building and then not even have to like do little power things on it? Let's do that. Build that there. And then we can put our path over here. I'm gonna make the path go past this thing, so... In the meantime, we'll go like that. This water wheel's not turning, though. That concerns me. Could it be spinning? Did I put it in the wrong spot? Gotta think about water fluid dynamics. It actually works in this game. Okay. Oh, the drought's already hit. Oh, oh crap. That might explain why it's not turning, but at least we still have water. Thanks to our beautiful dam construction, we still have water. Good work, beavers. It's on the wrong side of the dam. Well, the water has to flow anyway. Just sitting in the water won't help. Oh, there goes the water. Okay, our beautiful dam is not terribly efficient. Oh, the bad water does stop in the drought. So I guess that present oh. I was gonna say that presents the opportunity to cap these things, but I'm gonna have to like drain the dirty water out of there before you can do that. Alright, two point two days and then the drought will be done. It's not a bad one. Uh we need a stable source of logs. Unfor unlock the forester and place it uh and build a near place where you want to plant trees. Um, well, I mean, we could replant all this area with trees. Maybe a little little light on light on berries or whatever, but we can get some from the other side, I guess. Uh, okay, so that would be where? I'm assuming in wood? Oh, there we go. Forestry. I only have ten sides, though, so can I still un can I unlock that? Is that the right building? I think that's the right one. Can't unlock for- yeah, I need more science points. Okay, so that, I guess I shouldn't be surprised by that. This is still not equipped with anybody. Um, let's turn off our berry collector for now. How do I do that? Pause? And then Mike Retiring can do research. There we go. We got carrots anyway. We don't need no stinking berries. <laughs> to quote my other favorite Timberborn YouTuber, the real civil engineer, pump those logs, pump them hard. <laughs> yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen real civil engineer play the game. I haven't watched too many of his videos on uh, on Timberborners, but I know he's got a, a catchy jingle at the beginning. Oh, this is deeper over here. If I could blow. An opening here, we could let this fill up with water and then we'd have a bit of a reservoir there. Will D's and their viewers just joined. Welcome, Will D's. Thanks for the raid. Welcome anybody who might be dropping in on the stream from there from Will. D's cool people are raiding in with, with yeah, there's so many of these people over here. Welcome to Timberborn. Don't know if you've seen this before, but this is my first time playing it. Consequently, we're going through the tutorial stuff right now. We're still learning. We're still making the mistakes, of which I'm sure there'll be many. Wait a minute. No, I still don't have enough. I need 60, 60 science before I can even unlock that thing. Do these cool people are raiding in with... Do you guys all have, like, a pre-planned message for that? <laughs> Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. 
Fifteen died of old age. That means I'll be close behind. Oh no, old age already? What has it been? Like five days? Six days? The drought's over. Where's the water? Oh, there it is. Hooray! Bring on the water. <laughs> this dam is working too good. <laughs> There we go. And there's the water wheel. Nice. Okay, we got our, got our thing all powered up. Now I just gotta wait on those science points. Probably put the forester down and plant where you cut trees down uh, already, I would say, not uh, not the berries. Well, there's... So there are... The trouble is over here, there's a mix of trees and berries. Yeah, I could put it over here. This probably makes more sense. We've chopped more of it out here anyway. That likely makes way more sense. Uh, we got 41 science points, so I gotta wait till it gets to 60 before I can put it down. Can't unlock anything. Where do you see the notifications they died? They show up here in the bottom left. So we've got like War Dog has grown up, Mohanlo has grown up, Benny's grown up, JM died of old age, Trip J died of old age. A few others were born, some grew up. I don't think I can keep up with all the names in here. There's too many, man. Campfire. Place for beavers to relax and socialize. Ground only must be built on the ground. Oh, look at that. Perfect size. Put it right there. Our beavers can, like, socialize right around their housing. I wonder if, they, if they're happier, like, being on green territory versus, like, the barren stuff. Or if it makes a difference at all. Why is this water wheel not going again? Does it only turn when it needs to, maybe? Did I put it down wrong and I've got the power going on the wrong side? <laughs> Building needs power to operate, connected to a power generator. Well, that would be a problem. Um, I thought it said... Is it backwards? I don't know. Like, does it does it have a one one direction kind of thing? No, it, it produces the power on both sides. But the wheel's not turning. Maybe because I've got the dam right in front of it. it turned a little bit. This beaver's bored. Giggity. Maybe it actually has to be connected. Yeah, there's no water flow there. Yeah, it does look that way. How far out can they reach to build? Can they reach out like like across a block if I wanted to put it a little farther into the flow of water? Hold on, let's, let's try moving it over here maybe. Does it need a narrow channel? I, I don't know. It's just the water flow, but I don't know. Yeah, it's probably lack of flow. I don't know. Up here is better, like you can see it moving better. Down here it's pretty slow moving. But the the channel's wider here though too. Uh, okay. Then we'll have to put the lumber mill back in, but we'll leave a gap this time, because I, I don't know if it like actually powers it when it's touching the side of the building. I, I would think that it would, but... Just build another wheel next to the first? Well, will it even reach it? Can the beavers reach that far? It's too far from a district and cannot be reached by builders. Build more paths. So they, they can't build it there anyway. Hey, it's Polani! Long time no see. Welcome, Po. Works as it is, Fox. Problem is the flow. Well, it works as it is, except it's not working. <laughs> oh, you mean like uh, touching the building it would work? Yeah. I don't know. I think with that waterfall just down there, the flow would be a little better. All right, so I gotta pay attention. Maybe like this, um, this little inset part here is probably interrupting it. The dam right in front of it's probably not helping. Uh, you need stairs and a road down into the water to be able to build the dams across like that. Well, this one I built across just by building across. I didn't have to put stairs into the water or anything. I don't know. Anyway, we got 88 points now, so we can do the um, do the forestry building. 
Unlock that. Oh, to build in the water, you need to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, could they actually... Will they go down in the water? I mean, they're beavers, so one would think they should. Oh, yeah, look at the water level. It's actually... The water level here is so low because of the dam. So, it's just... I've, put, I've set the water level too low. I need to move the dam farther down, maybe. Although, this one's turning. Huh. Isn't that a pain? Mm -hmm. Can you just let me use an arrow with the channel? <sighs> what have we got here? Levy. Blocks off water completely solid. Other buildings can be put on, built on top of it. Oh, I see. All right, well, maybe I'll just, for now, I'll move the lumber building over to this side. It's kind of far for them to have to, like, carry stuff, but it is what it is. And then we got to connect that together, right? Power connection is blocked. What? Wait, what? I can rotate that, right? There we go. What was that noise I found? I heard. Are you sure you want to demolish the building? Yes, I am. Wow, that's instantaneous. Give me back the materials for this stuff. There we go! Or damn behind the water wheel. Yeah, we could put the dam back here. That might help a little bit. Give me more water trapped in here, too, which would be all right. Need a stable source of logs. Okay, they're still building the forester. Actually, ooh, are they out of logs? Oh my god, I wiped out all the logs. <laughs> I can't finish the forester build. Oh, wait. No, I have 210 logs. Oh, they, oh, man, they got a whole stockpile. Wow, good work, guys. Look at all this, the wood they piled up in there. You guys could finish this quickly, that'd be great. Sound was your beaver's happiness went up, now level six. Oh, I see, I see. They're all cheerful. Probably because they got this little campfire down here they can hang out at. Not that they're having a campfire, they're just sitting around an empty pit, but. Look at the mess. Will they clean this up eventually? Rubble. Materials left after demolishing a building can be gathered by builders. Okay. Maybe not the one in the water, but... They're making s'mores. <laughs> what kind of s'mores would a beaver have? Instead of a graham cracker, they use wood chips or something? Like, how's that work? Is there an overlay to compare flow rates? Uh, I don't know. I don't see reporting stuff here. What have we got? We've got uh, show storage overlay, hide water... We can move up and down levels. We can set working hours, I guess. We want them to work more. Hmm. No, I don't see like overlays here. Not so much. Need more storage. <laughs> well, I'm all out of I'm all out of uh, trees for them to chop down anyway. Oh my god, when are they going to build this thing? Can't get all the required materials. What are they lacking? Oh, the planks. Yeah, they're having to go a long way for that lumber mill, unfortunately, because I built it wrong. What I should have done was build it over here. Because then it would be right close to the forestry stuff. Live and learn, I guess. Live and learn. How old's your beaver? You must be close to death. Well, what do we got? We got Gene P died. Uh, how do I see the beavers? Oh, there we go. Um, still snow. Oops. Well-being six. 
Work speed. I don't know. How old are they? Does it show? Oh, my day. You're age 35, apparently. You live in the lodge. You work in the district center. Apparently, you like carrots, or you've been eating carrots anyway. 35. 35 year old beaver. Are we naming beavers? I was naming them, but they're, they, they die and get born so quickly. I don't know how to get. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Workplace. Population, housing, storage, power, well-being, migration, distribution. Yeah, these are the beavers here. We've had some that got born and grew up already. I don't know. How, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to name them all the time. It's just going to take too long to keep up with it all. You know, plant trees. Choose, um, choose the plant trees and bushes tool. Plant some pines. Birch pine. sense enough continue up oh, your settlements now self-sufficient as long as the water keeps flowing consider building a dam or placing more tanks to help your beavers survive the droughts Tutorial show you the basics but there's much more you can discover on your own all right so we're done with the tutorial we got the basics down now we just gotta survive thrive and stay alive which is you know also the same as surviving i guess we're going to do more research. So we got 102 thing, 102 research points now. What else have we got that we can build? Got a gear workshop. We've got a paper mill. Printing press. Tapper's shack. Wood workshop. On the food front, aquatic farmhouse. Employs specialized farmers that plant and harvest aquatic crops. Yeah, there's cattail roots and spatter dock. Whatever that is. We grill to grill our vegetables. We got a grist mill for grinding up flour. A bakery. Beehive. The water pump, we got water pumps, bad water pump, a reinforced pump capable of pumping out bad water. Low bad water contamination slows down its pumping speed. Water dependent, requires access to water, maximum depth 2. Fluid pumps, stream gauge, mechanical fluid pump. Pumps water or bad water up on one side and discharges them on the other. More efficient than the regular pump. Centrifuge, heavy duty machinery, transforming the dangerous bad water into usable extract. Oh, you can do something useful with the bad water. That's funny. Also convenient. I know you can get explosives in this game. Where do they hide the explosives? <laughs> That's it's not under power. We have other science buildings. Underground pile. Stores bulky resources. Ground only must be built on the ground. Capacity 1800. Wow. Takes a thousand for that too. Medium. Let's do a. Let's do a medium tank here. Oh, oh, that's a medium tank. Good God, that thing's huge. What does a big tank look like? Uh, we've got metal stuff, but I'm not at a point where we're doing anything with metal yet. High power shaft transfers power. All right. Never considered myself a pioneer, but sure I'll take it. What's this now about pioneering? Do you have a small plank storage? I don't. Uh, maybe I should make a plank storage. Small pile, capacity 20. Oh, man, it's like, okay. So I guess when we make the planks, I might as well store them like right here, right? Thanks. I only have six planks right now, anyway. Just make a big tank and you're gonna need it. Yeah, I mean, this is probably true. So, now that we have a forester thing here, do I even need the lumberjack flag? Like, do they still have to do the normal lumberjacking here, or is it part of this job? Plants, trees, and bushes. Replant dead trees is not marked for cutting, so... Huh. Like, do I have to mark these for cutting for them to chop them down when they're the right size? Joke regarding the original name, people dying up. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> I, no, I didn't notice no drought warning. I don't know what you're talking about. 2.7 days, I guess, until it comes. Okay, we can get access over here now. So let's, um... 
Let's get this road in here. Ah, stupid trees in the way. <laughs> really, I gotta go around one tree. Okay. Um, uh, here we'll do a little, little damn like business. Try and seal in as much water as we can there. Where's the other half of the dam? What do you mean, what other half? What are you talking about? Need another water tank? Uh, alright, let's go... Storage. Yeah, we might as well just make the bigger tank, I guess, right? Lord knows we're gonna need it. Go ahead and build it. Can't you break the debris in the narrow channel? Uh, I think I need explosives for that. Demolish. Oh, will they just wreck it? Natural barrier blocking water can be demolished. Ground only. I thought I had to have explosives to, to break stuff like that. Got a food and material store. Oh, crap. Holy cow, look at all the carrots in here. Okay, they got a serious... Serious problem. I, it had me plant a hundred carrots, but these beavers are not consuming anywhere near that many. I still only have fourteen beavers too, so it's not, it's not like we have full housing. Um. All right, we need more storage, I guess. Let's go with um, another large pile for wood. Layer logs in there. Stack it to the warehouse back here. Make this one for more carrots. <laughs> that berry one's fine. Oh, you know what? I could have actually just repurposed the berry one, but get them harvesting berries again. You can have trees and other plants removed if they're in places you don't want them. Like this one here, for example. It's watered and healthy. What do you do with it? Did you do an intro song like RCE? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to didn't want to like steal his shtick. It didn't seem right to me. Is it possible to build the high rises like stack buildings on top of each other? You can't stack them, yeah. There are certain types of buildings you can stack up. That I'm a, that much I do know. So like we could put more housing in there, for example. More SM water storage? What's SM? I have a second water storage right here that I've got them working on, but. They're not going to get it finished before the drought hits. They're not even... They might not even get this dam finished in time. Hoping they do, but... Come on, go. There we go. Just in time. <laughs> water tank will be next, I guess. Oh, Timmer, you got to get down, buddy. I don't have any gears for the medium water storage. Gears? It takes power? What are you talking about? It's just a tank. Oh crap, it takes gears. Uh how do I make gears. Where does one make gears? Is there, are those are those like something I salvage? Assuming I'm you know, this just makes planks. Metal gear workshop. Oh, gear workshop. I guess would make sense. Little lodge. Where are we here? Power. Nope. Bot assembler. 
Scavenger, smelter, mine. Gear workshop, there we go. Manufactures gears from planks. Timber, buddy, you're kind of like in the way here. <laughs> Hold on, cat cam's coming on. Please don't rub on the microphone. <laughs> it's, I'm sure it's noisy for people on the other end. There he is. Okay. So we've got the gear work. Oh, that's going to take 100 science, which I don't have. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, what are you doing? My beavers are having a drought. You're up here rubbing on the microphone. Don't forget, you'll get bad water. Well, the bad... Oh! The bad water didn't backflow because I, uh, I had it blocked. Our little dam here did its thing. So this drought is going to last 3.6 days. Hopefully with the water that I have in the tanks and then the bit of water that's in here that we'll be able to pump out. With any luck, that'll be alright. Perfect game for Gatcam, yeah. His name is very after this game. Welcome. This is Timberborn, buddy, and you're Timber. Isn't that convenient? Yeah, hey, buddy. How you doing? That's my face. <laughs> Stop the pumping so your stuff doesn't die? Oh, uh, alright. Pause. Pause. Two, okay. Rub it on the pop filter. How many beavers have I killed so far? I haven't killed any, necessarily. I've had some die from old age, though. I can't control that, though. The beavers age out. No, I mean, it'll come from the main water source instead of a drought? Oh, will it? The bad water does? Oh, I didn't know that. So, I, I'm, I'm new to this. <laughs> the bad water is, is coming out over here now. It's got its own separate flow, but is it going to come out of the main water source sometimes? If so, if so that kind of bites. Hey, right? We have to figure out how to deal with that. Probably go ahead and set up some small containers since you don't have gears. Yeah, this is true. Let me get rid of this. Cancel that. Oh, dude, stop licking me. That tickles. Not small warehouse. We want... <laughs> oh my god, look at you. Look at you. Hey? You big suck. Divert the flow once... Uh, once you can do that with a levy, I think. <laughs> oh my god, the beaver jokes. Alright. A couple more water tanks, anyway. We're up to 16 beavers now. And we're over 100, so I can make the, uh, whatever that gear thing was. Gear workshop. Oh, this has to be powered, it looks like. Manufactures gears from planks. Or does it? It's got, like, big gears on top of it, but... Requires 50 HP of power. Yeah, it requires 120 HP power. Okay, so that does have to have power. Oh, you know what? I can do windmills, right? 150 horsepower generates a changeable amount of power from the wind. It takes 120. How big is this thing? Oh, it's not that big. I can set this thing up over here so that it will uh, will keep producing power if there's no water. Not unlock windmill, not enough science points. Oh, I need 120. Dang it. Build it behind? Oh, over here. Tim is adorable. It's not that loud when he rubs. He only does it. Yeah. He wants the attention. He rub the trouble is he rubs on my uh, on my pop filter, which is getting it's gotten nasty now. It's like just covered in like dust and animal hair. <laughs> he rubs on the pop filter, and then the metal from the pop filter hits the uh, the microphone. Oh, I gotta set these up for water.
Whoops. I had to sneeze. He didn't like it. Sorry, everybody. No cat cam for now. Scared away the cat. Point three days left. And then we get our water back. Might as well just turn this on. Because they're all going to bed anyway. Oh, wait. What's this? What's that symbol? Nothing to do in range. Oh, that's the wood lumber thing of a bomber duper. Uh, <laughs> all right. I guess I don't need this anymore. That'll free up a beaver to do something else. The water's returned. You can put water wheels together. You just need stairs down to the water. Oh yeah, someone said that earlier. So, where do you build stairs from? Is that on the path? Oh yeah, there it is. Wooden stairs. Did it not rotate? All right. I do want stairs, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get them just yet. A good supply of wood, at least. Uh, all right. So we got different bridges and stuff we can make. We have got. Uh... Mini lodge, a small lodge that fits a single beaver. <laughs> that increases basic needs for sleep and shelter. It only inhabits one beaver, though. Versus this one that holds three. Oh, double lodge. Hold six. I don't know what I should get here. I don't know what I'm doing. Aquatic farmhouse, grill, grill. Maybe we'll do a grill. They can grill some veggies up. How big is this thing? Oh, that's pretty big. Put it right across from the uh, from the supply of carrots. They can grill up some vegetables. Maybe they'll be happier with grilled carrots. He's a scared cat. If I sneeze, my Zoro just stared at me with it. Well, what do you? Yeah, he's jumpy. I think in part because of the dog, because the dog's always bugging him. Build a gear workshop next to the plank workshop. Power passes through the buildings. Yeah. I got 157 points. So let's do. Um, your workshop. Rotate. 100 science points. It's a shame to use the green territory for this stuff, but what are you going to do? There we go. I should get a berry collector over here. Um, food? Gatherer flag? Go right there, they can get those berries. Oh look, there's a... Why is there a beaver at the top of the tower? Is he making sure the trees are growing? What's his deal? Mm -hmm. Need to increase the power, so you need the stairs. Oh. So if they can get down to the water, will they just like run around and do whatever down there? If I throw stairs over here, do I have to build pathing in the water for them to reach this stuff? Tree one unlock wooden stairs cost 70 signs. Okay, we got stairs. There's a second water wheel right next to it. Paths in the water, okay. Super weird. Or they just wait till the next drought and then they'll go build. <laughs> Send snow for a swim. The swim is still snow still alive? Harpy Benny Fappy still snow is still alive. Age 49 now. Ripe old age for a beaver, I guess. Jesus Beaver can walk on water, no worries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As always, alright. Okay, so they built well they're gonna build the gear thing there. Um Paper Mill, mechanized paper factory, printing press. Well they could like produce literature, the the beavers will be happier because they have stuff to read. Is that what that is? By exploring the stars, beavers gain more knowledge about the world they live in. Beaver only. Only beavers are allowed to work in this workplace. I assume because you make robots later, and I'm assuming it means you can't use robots. 
Floodgates. Blocks the water up to an adjustable height. Double floodgate. Contamination barrier. Stops uh, soil contamination from spreading beneath it. Ground only. Must be built on the ground. Oh. So if I go up here, I could put contamination barriers along the top and stop it from contaminating along here. I guess that's what that is. <gasps> Explosives factory. Dynamite. Double dynamite. Okay, yeah, we need that. A dirt excavator. Heavy duty mining rig for collecting dirt. It uses, uh, uses extract to soften the ground. Huh. A train block. I want this explosives factory, but that's going to take 400 science, so it's going to be a bit before we can get there. <laughs> Who wants to bet I managed to blow a beaver up with that thing? Larger warehouse. Stores. Uh, that's 250 to unlock that thing. Man. Gotta get more science things going on. Grill cooks potatoes. Wait, it doesn't cook... <sighs> doesn't cook carrots? No recipe selected. Um, no goods in stock. <laughs> recipe. Grilled potatoes, grilled chestnuts. Gr oh. Well, crap. Okay, well, I've got all these carrots. Can I change the crop? Potato. Potato. Again, I can't plant over it, can I? Uh, clear planting area. Oh, crap. <laughs> Some of the carrots still need to be harvested. But we can put potatoes in instead. Or can we? No, we can't. The plants are there. Ah, dang it. Quick, name a baby still snow before anyone notices I died. Oh my god, does still snow, still snow died. Uh, Dajuna. There we go. Oh, we're in here. We could also do Katrina. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just name the I'll name the babies as they come along. That way I don't have to worry about messing with all these. I can just pay attention to when there's a baby born. <laughs> Which might be a bit much. Name replacement snowball too. <laughs> this is like an L. Did I, did I, did I mistype it? There we go. St it's still Snow the Immortal. What's going on here? Building needs power to operate. Connected to a power generator. Again, the power stopped. It was working fine, but now it's not. Even though it's the same flow of water as it was when it was running. I'm confused. Just saw this update info today. Cool to see you check it out. Still Snow's name's wrong? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Typo. I don't understand why this isn't working now. I mean, it was working just a minute ago. Is it because I've got construction going on next to it now? It's like impeding it, maybe? <sighs> Let's get these things as a uh, higher priority. I want to get them built so I can see what happens. That would have drove you nuts. <laughs> Probably build scaffolding or something out of the water if you're not using paths. Yeah, I guess you could do scaffolding. I really need them to finish digging this up so I can put the potatoes in. Gotta get them taters. Paper mill, 250. I've got, what, 84? Probably should look on, like, work on 
Getting another sign. Oh, that's a thousand. Never mind. Four hundred for the refinery. Produces various types of fuel for bots. Oh. Bot part factory. Bot assembler. Them good old beaver bots. Are taking over the real thing. <laughs> Pause some buildings at the grill says, oh yeah, uh, you're right, I should pause that since I can't cook that anyway. I mean, I have more workers than I can use anyway. This guy is already doing nothing because there's no trees left over here, so that can go. No more trees for you. I'm waiting for the carrots to, I, I mean, I guess I don't really need them there. I could, uh... Clear planting or use it to mark, uh... Well, it gets rid of the dirt, but it doesn't get rid of the, uh... The stuff that's already there. Might as well pause that since it has no power anyway. <laughs> We're gonna wet a stockpile of wood. What about more well-being? We got rooftop terrace, place for beavers to relax and socialize in the evening. Uh, must be placed atop other buildings. Okay. Oh, oh, it's pretty big. Oh, I have stairs now, so I could actually. Well, like that. And then uh, we need to build wooden stairs. Throw a little scaffold platform in here. How much is that? A hundred. I got enough. There we go. Now they can get on the rooftop. To make sure them beavers are comfortable, you know? You don't want an uncomfortable beaver. <laughs> oh, God. What's the new update? So, it's the bad water update that came out. They added this, uh, this bad water stuff here that, uh, contaminates the ground around it, and the, the bad water itself is a problem. Um... Uh, and then they've also implemented a number of different um, devices and things related to bad water. So, like, we've got the uh, the bad water pump now. We've got a, a centrifuge that converts bad water into useful materials. Got a bad water dome. Seals bad water source. Could be open or closed at will. We have the bad water rig. Seals bad water source. Employs workers who extract bad water directly from the source. Apparently it's all radioactive. Place a path on top of the platform? Oh, but what platform? Oh, at the top of the stairs, you mean? Do they need one up there? Oh, that's weird. Oh, yeah, put little railings on it. Huh. This thing says, buildings uh, isn't connected to any district centered by paths. Oh, it's got, they gotta finish building the stairs and stuff there first. I still haven't finished this over here. This thing is still not going. Look at all that glorious water. It's like kind of eddying right here. It's not really blowing properly. Oh, now it goes. Huh. <laughs> That's super inconsistent. I guess it's just a uh, bad placement on my part. What are you doing? Mm, Seriously, what's this guy doing? He's just hanging out there. He's He works at the gathering flag, but he's not gathering. I guess maybe because it's full. Wait, but is this full? Oh, crap. Uh... <laughs> I got more food than I can handle right now. I do another medium warehouse. I guess we'll stick it over here. I don't know where to put it. I don't want to put it in somewhere wasteful, you know? Stick it there. That's for berries. Finally get some potatoes going now. So what exactly happens to the other end with the bad water is coming from if you seal it off? I don't know. I guess it just ends up dry over there. I 
Got another drought incoming. They still haven't finished this uh, water wheel. Oh, it's too far from a district and cannot be reached by builders. Oh, because of this. No, oh, they got the stairs done. No, they're not done. Seriously? Finish my stairs, dang it. Can't get all the required material. Oh, I need planks. I haven't had any power to produce planks, so they haven't been able to make the stairs. No figures. This is paused. Maybe we should unpause that. I need the planks. Make me planks! Yeah, I should actually put this, um, I should put this dam back here, maybe, somewhere. Yeah, I guess that might work. Uh, it's kind of a long way across here, though. What do we got here? The levees take 120 to unlock. Can I build a pathway through the berries? Like, will they just, like, eliminate them? No, they don't. Blueberries, watered and healthy. That doesn't work. How do you get rid of them? They get erased? It didn't erase it, though. It just... Like, the stumps it went over, but the berry bushes, when I got to it, it stopped. See, it won't, uh, it won't go over the berries. Dig them up. How the heck do I do that? <laughs> Demolish buildings and resources. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Uh, Demolish buildings, delete rubble, mark resources for demolition. Okay. I'll make a path over here. The only thing I don't like is it's going to be a really long walk to get all the way around to get to the lumber mill after that. I guess I could put like a catwalk across here. Yeah, most of the damn, but put something like a platform so you want. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like if I get rid of this end of it where the water flow, I need the water to flow better. I'll wait till they build the other dam before I do that. Coming drought. Look at them beavers go. <laughs> Gonna need more beaver housing soon too, I guess. So I can house sixteen right now. I want to put a row of beaver houses up on top. So I'm going to have to build the scaffolding along the back, I guess, right? Shoot, where was that? Oh, it's in here. Platforms. If I put a platform all along the back of this thing, I could put a layer of housing up on top. Is there another place bad water can flow? Or are you say I'm Right now, I'm safe from it. For now. Uh, apparently, sometimes instead of a drought, we'll get bad water that will come down here also. Um, so as it stands right now, the bad water flows over here, and I've got I've got it dammed off right here, so it can't backflow into my in my area. Uh, there's going to be a 3.9 day drought, so let's uh, let's pause these things. Use the stored water we have to make sure my crops and stuff stay alive for now. Oh, I got more room for potatoes now. The problem I'm going to have after that is, uh... Let's see, grilled potatoes. Now, I don't have any potatoes, I don't think. Oh, no, it says I got 120. Oh, no, it produces 120. I don't know. I don't know the other requirements. All right, let's pause that for now. I still haven't finished this over here, either. Feels like construction is like the last priority for them. I don't know why that is. We have tons of wood. Oh, the, oh, the stairs are done finally. Oh, you know what? That's what was holding them up. Was I needed planks for the stairs uh, in both places. I think it work on this thing finally. It just only takes logs, fortunately. 
And even though they're gonna have that finished, uh, of course we won't have any... Oh, I wanna clean that up. You still delete rubber resor er, rubble. Resources stored in this way will be lost. I don't want that. I want them to get this stuff. You want floodgates to redirect the flow of water. Put up the priority. I did put up the priority, but it was the the problem was I didn't have planks. This one here we can we can bump it up. Now that we have the planks, it'll be uh, something they can actually do. <laughs> hmm. Big spreads and pastries from different flowers. I assume that like making different types of foods helps increase the happiness level of the beavers. What do we got for goals? Oh, <laughs> wet fur, giggity. All right, so basic needs: hunger, thirst, sleep, shelter, and wet fur. Why is wet fur at nothing? Is there like a hot tub we can make? <laughs> Uh, nutrition, we've got uh, carrots, sunflower seeds, potatoes, etc, etc. Social life, campfire, and rooftop terrace. We got the rooftop terrace ready. Unlock, we got 15 well-being to unlock the other faction. Oh, uh, we have a path to water. It's good that, well, not anymore, I guess we don't, because they can't, they can't go in the water over there. I guess I could, I could give them, like, stairs right here. I will be those. I'll give you some stairs. Oh, <laughs> they got a shower. A spot where beavers can get refreshed with a shower. Meets basic needs, wet fur. Medical bed, spot where injured beavers come to rest. Contemplation spot. Requires access to water for the shower. Oh, I didn't even notice they uh, they knocked the blockade over here, so I've got that little bit of water there now. Water levels falling. Joining into your wet fur giggity. <laughs> Listen, I don't come up with the names for these things. I just uh, I just laugh at them. Um, all right, we have fifty signs, but oh my god, look at the size of this thing. It needs, it says it needs access to water, but how does that work? Is it got to be like next to a water source or is there piping in this game for water? Oh, I see. It's got to hang over the edge for the water. Okay, I got it. I got it. We can drop that in there. We don't want them to shower when it's, uh, you know, not good anyway. They don't need to shower in a drought. That's not necessary. Build our dam across here. Drought ended. Hooray! Beaver's laying pipe. <laughs> okay, we turn these on now. We had enough water though, so that's a plus. I didn't completely fail on that front. <laughs> you and your dirty beaver. Well, they got a shower, so they can be clean beavers now. Eventually. I see it would take a while to build up. Uh... Put up all the science points you need for stuff. Drought gets worse each time. Yeah, I think they last longer each time, so I'm, I do need to, to build up my water supply more. Uh, I assume with the explosives we could also make this deeper so that we could trap more water in this area. And then our pumps would have greater access to it. And then I could continue pumping in a drought, conceivably. 
probably delete the stairs. Which stairs? These ones over here? Oh, look, this is still not working. <laughs> One water wheel's going, at least. This guy's bored. What's his problem? Oh, he needs planks to do his job. Oh, now we got rubble in the water. Oh, well. The research faster with multiple sign sets. Yeah, I guess I was um, thinking I needed to build the next tier up science thing, but I get, I do have people that aren't busy. I could throw a second one in there. This still isn't done. Part of that, I got a rooftop terrace done. And then I'm going to want stairs over here so they can reach this... Um, That level there once I'm ready to actually do it anyway. <clears throat> Up the prior to the bush removal. Get them berries out of there. We ain't got no time for no berries. I have a crazy amount of berries and uh <laughs> Crazy amount of berries and carrots stored up. I have no room for potatoes yet, though, so now that they're starting to harvest potatoes, we're gonna have a problem there. I guess we'll do another warehouse for potatoes. What's that? That's bread, grilled potatoes. Wait, do you have to have a separate storage for. Uncooked potatoes and a separate one for cooked ones. That's problematic. Well, is that? We don't need a gardener right now. We got too many berries already. We'll find another work to do, little guys. If I set your potato, your, uh, I did, but I turned this off, so we can turn it back on now. Now that they're actually harvesting some potatoes. Migrate population, what's that do? Huh. Manual migration. Mm, Alright. Look at that! We're up to eight now, because they've got uh, rooftop terrace they can hang out in, too. All well, those beavers just hanging out, swapping stories. Grilling marshmallows. You know what? I could actually... Cancel this. So I'll save the planks. I could just do a scaffold there, right? Uh. Raised platforms can act as a bridge or foundation. Solid. Other buildings can be built on top. Can the the beavers go walk underneath it though, right? So if I put that on there, then we can throw a path here. And then when they uh, when they finish building the platforms back here, I can put the second level housing up there. Be beautiful. When's the last time I played Oni? Oh, it's been a hot minute. You know, if I was smarter, I wouldn't do platforms back here. I would do other houses and then stack a, another row of houses on top of that. And eh, whatever, we'll go this way for now. Those barriers aren't going to get destroyed. You need to extend the path. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, there we go. Boy, it's... it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> really good at it. They have asteroids and spaceships now. Yeah, it's been a while since I played it. Um, I was contemplating actually, because I've mostly been streaming survival games, I've been thinking about recording some Oxygen Unoccluded gameplay and just posting some edited videos of it. My problem is uh, finding time to do recording and editing. That's been my uh, my primary challenge. <laughs> Half the time, I, you don't even get to stream as much as I want to anymore, which is kind of a problem. 
But yeah, I have been thinking about playing it again. I just um, I haven't made any any progress that way. More builders to the town. Wait, I can put. Bu oh, are these the builders in here? <laughs> Wait, that's a thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, crap. So these four will be the builders in here? It does say employees builders, so alright. Crap. Well, see, could have gotten a lot quicker if I'd been uh, doing that earlier, huh? <laughs> we live and we learn. Or in my case, you know, we just really don't really learn. A lot of new things in Oni, yeah. Yeah, they've had a couple updates since uh, last I saw. You can add builder's hats too. What? I want them to have builder's hats. How do I do that? Mm, I'm you can change his name. I can watch him work, but how do I give him a hat? I don't want him to have a hat. <laughs> injured be Oh, I've got an injured. Oh, beaver's injured. Oh, no. Someone overworked the beaver. Who was pounding on that beaver? That's not good. Oh, look, he's got a little cast on his arm. Poor little guy. Uh, okay, so there was a medical thing I saw somewhere. Was that a well-being? Medical bed. A spot where injured beavers come to rest. <laughs> Giggity. Uh, oh, they're literally just be outdoor beds. Okay, well, that's fun. Let's build a couple, because I'm, I'm sure I'm going to wind up with more injured beavers. We're a little rough on the beavers sometimes. Well, they're tents. That's fun. You really need to use uh, levees in your dams. Well, what's the difference for the levee? Locks water off completely. Locks water off, but allows them to pass through a spillway at the top. What's the advantage of the levee over? Is it cheaper to build? I guess it will just maintain a higher amount of water or something? Like, I don't, I don't know, like, won't that reduce the flow? Blocks water so it makes the water flow faster and allows for more to accumulate. Oh, so if I put levees across here, for example, then it would force more water into the pathway of the water wheels? Can I, like, change these out? Does it, well, it doesn't let me build over top of them, does it? If it's on the side of the dam in the middle, or vice versa, yeah, and flooding. Oh, it causes flooding too, oh, that's fun. Well, I wasn't using the floodgates because these dams have a natural spot at the top where the water will flow over once it reaches a certain level. So I didn't bother with, uh, with the floodgates. It'll flood my whole village, I don't want that. I don't want that. Be bad. Be real bad. I want to put a platform here and take this thing out. But I can't destroy this for apparently. Why not? Demolish buildings. Uh, up the priority on these. There, that increases the flow for the water wheels. What am I doing? I was creating a, an opening in the dam to allow more water to flow where the water wheels are, and I'm building a secondary dam farther down instead.
That way it can't, it can't flood, because the this whole dam along here is like a natural height control thing. I'm assuming. Okay, these actually need to be built really quick. Come on, beavers, get to work! Hopefully I didn't trap any beavers on the other side. Might have. Might have, because I think they were working. Well, I can't make planks for the moment until they get the... Uh... Oh, wait, do these, are... these don't take planks, do they? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> ah, crap, they take planks! Um, Houston, we have a problem. All right, hold on. We, we got this, we got this. <laughs> I done blocked myself. Do I not? I guess I don't have any planks stored, do I? Somewhere I did a storage for, for planks. Oh, wait. Small pile for the planks is over here. There's only one plank in it, but... Well, I might have screwed that up a little bit. In theory, I had the right idea. In, in principle, I, or practice, I didn't employ it properly. <laughs> Can't you just destroy the first dam since the second one's finished? Well, I still want the walkway across. Uh, the second one's not done yet. There's still two two things there that need finishing anyway. Uh, but I still wanted a way for the beavers to get across over here anyway. And if it's going to help concentrate the flow so that it powers the water wheels better, I'm uh, I'm good with that. Now, once this is finished over here, it might slow down anyway, but... Yeah, it's flowing great now. Because it builds up here, and it's forcing through this little area, and then right to where the wheels are. You can do underwater pass, it gives them wet fur. Oh, really? Well, I've got a shower that they theoretically could make. <laughs> It's like only dupes or beavers getting trapped. I, I guess... No, there's no beavers in there. Well, now there is. No available workers in the district. Oh, is it too far? Because the path is red? Come on! Oh, no, I just... I've got everybody occupied. Um, I might have to reduce a builder. There we go. Okay, we got... We got lumber mill people again. Oh, crud. Actually, I don't need the gears right now. Let's pause the gears, and we'll, we'll just work on planks. We got another drought incoming, too. Shower swimming through the water gets fur wet. Yeah, so I'm, I've got the, the shower queued up to build, but... Um, they're busy doing other things right now. Do you have enough gear store for that big water tank? Um, I don't know. I have six of ten gears here, so maybe? No, it takes 20 gears. Need 20 gears for that thing. Never enough beavers, yeah. I'm trying to build some more housing for them, because we got tons of food. I can definitely afford to feed them. So if we could get some more bur some more beavers in here working, that would be great. Ooh, our science is building up better now. Okay, uh... What else can we learn how to make? <laughs> I can afford to PVMI beavers, said no man ever. <laughs> the gears to be supplied well and doing other projects you need a second plank shop. Oh yeah. I can I can put the back to back though, right? Like if I just uh if I rotate the end of the lumber mill and put it like that, it'll have It'll have power, right? Oh, 
Whether I have enough workers or not is another matter, but... Do you need to extend your forester for more wood? Beavers love wood. <laughs> We've got a good stockpile of wood over here in this large pile. There's 82 logs there. we got another three in there. So I am going through a little bit more wood, but it uh, hasn't been too bad. Maybe I could put a different type of tree because they have a different growth rate, right? So like the pine is 12 days to get two logs. The chestnut is 20, 24 days to get four logs, although I don't know why that's better at all. What's that? Like, let's click a single tile or hold a button. Why does it have two different measurements? Eight days to get three something? Hmm. This one's 28 days to get six logs. So every every 12 days is two logs. Nine days to get one log. I don't know why I want to plant those. Dandelions. What are the dandelions for? I'm making salad? That's enough trees, is it? That's, oh, it's not enough trees. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I don't I don't know what the... Like, why would we bother? Oak makes 8 in 30 days. 28 days for 6 or 8 in 30 days. I guess oaks are the way to go. Got a big oak forest there. Shabam! And we're under drought. Uh, let's, this one will be 4.8 days of drought now. Pause these. And now on the plus side... I did get the dam created farther down. Now I can't make planks again. <sighs> Unless I get a windmill going. I assume with the windmills, if you have them on higher ground, they get better wind access? Is that how that works? Where's my power? Oh, it takes 20 planks. Of course it does. Uh... I don't appear to have any planks stored, do I? No, just logs. Just logs, no planks. You know, I sh probably should have put a little forestry thing over here. I think you build a treadmill for power? Yeah, there's the... Uh, gravity battery, large windmill. Power wheel. A beaver-operated backup source of power. Beaver only. Only beavers are allowed to power it. So you only get 50 horsepower out of it, though. That's not going to do a whole lot for cutting. If you go demolish some of the platforms, get the planks back that were in the... Those? Um, What, like over here? These things? Good. I think. I don't know how many planks I get back out of it, though. I'm just surprised nobody's died of, like, thirst and drought yet. It's a miracle! Build a shaming wheel, I mean the power wheel. Shame. 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 Well... It's not gonna create a lot of power, but I guess we could put some, uh, a little something there. A little something-something. Oh, can you not put... Oh, no. I can't put power off of the, like, over the road? Like, what's up with that? Huh. Does the power, does the road make up the power? No, not gonna, not gonna build the road. So, gotta build the road over the power axles. Wait, so if I demolish the road, you mean, and then and then put the axle in and then put the road? Or the axles over the... Or what? There's a pathway and a power exit for that. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> put the wheel next to the building. Oh, well, I, I mean, I, I could just do that, but... Entrance blocks. Oh wait, wait, it's got it's got a specific side. There we go. I'm smirt. Still can't build it there. <laughs> Not that smirt. 
So it, it has specific uh, specific entrance and then uh, specific side for the power wheel. All right, fine, whatever. We'll put it right there. There. Nothing can be built on roads except platforms. All right. All right, I got you. Ah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. But I did see there is a there is a thing we could go for a higher level. Where was it? This thing here. High power shaft, so I could put it up onto a platform to go over a roadway. But then I'd have to wait to get, like, I'd have to have room to get it down on the other side, I guess. I want to try the windmills, too. But that takes planks. <laughs> yeah, power wheel just takes logs. It doesn't require planks. I don't think it's going to be enough to do much cutting, but if it gives me something, I guess it's better than nothing. I have one board beaver, anyway. I think you could... Well, I guess you could build on top of the platforms, too, so you could, like, elevate the... Elevate the power source. Whatever. It'll work where it is. It's fine. Prioritize this thing, please. Get to work, beavers. Might as well go over the big windmill since you have enough science for it. Do I? 1.4k for the large windmill? Uh, nope. <laughs> I only have 545, so I definitely don't have that. You can platform the river and build on top of it. This game's so cool. Oh, yeah, I guess you could do that. That would take a lot of planks, though, I would imagine. Well, I have... I, I did plant some more trees over here. Um, I don't know. We'll get it figured out. This is my first time playing, so I'm, uh, I'm not, I haven't really figured out, like, the balance of things. Some of it is, uh, I'm just gonna have to do trial and error. Learn what I'm doing a little bit. So if you've been playing the game a bunch and you're familiar with how everything works, just know that, uh, it's not entirely that I'm stupid, it's just that I've, I haven't played before. <laughs> Still mostly that I'm stupid, but not entirely. Oh, look, they're both, they're both working now. All right. I mean, it's enough power to power both of the both of the the uh, lumber mills. That's good. Where does it show the power consumption for these, though? Can that be in here? Fifty horsepower, but this only produces fifty, so I don't know how it's powering two of them. Alright, drop's over. We can pause this thing. I don't need it. <laughs> that is cute, though. <laughs> Look at this. Run, you little guy! Run! I love how close you can get. <laughs> Poor little guy. Run faster! Run faster! Alright, we'll spare him. Power's been half efficiency. Oh, is that what it is? Alright. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. What is this? What is this, RCE's video? Come on. Oh, oh, they got these done over here. Oh, good, they got the planks finished. Uh, okay, so we gonna put, I'm going to put in more housing, even though I don't have any uh, beavers to actually occupy it yet. But at least they've got the living quarters available to them. Uh, oh, they're out of water. Everyone's going to bed thirsty tonight. Hopefully they don't die before morning. <laughs> we don't need water. Water is completely overrated. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's turn the gear thing back on. Oh, what's this? Minus two? Oh, well-being. <laughs> I guess being thirsty is a big impact on well-being. Hmm. 
They're all getting their thirst on, though. It's good. They're fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry, beavers. I got you. 400 for the large water pump. Maximum depth, 4. So that one actually pumps deeper water, also. If I could, like, make a spot that was deeper, anyway. Where was that, uh... Explosives building? Wasn't under science or well-being. Not decorations. Maybe a medium storage tank. Well, I was. Uh, I gotta build up enough gears that I can make the medium water storage tank. I tried to make one earlier, but I didn't have enough uh, stuff built up. Shoot, where was the explosive thing? Oh, there it is. Explosives factory, that takes 400. Oh, I actually have to get radioactive materials in order to make that. So I have to get the the bad water to make the explosives? Ew, I had not considered that. So there's a train underneath it and triggers, or I can just make straight, I don't understand. So this be manufactures explosives from bad water. That's new. So I know, maybe we can just go straight to the dynamite. Oh, I see. It's an individual purchase of dynamite. Can they put it in the water? <laughs> what happens if I blow up where my building is? Is that a problem? Too far, but just it can't be reached by builders. Okay, so it's got to be within builder re reach also. I kind of want to blow something up just to see what happens. Tree one uh, cost 600 points. Yes. We've learned the dynamite. Now what does it cost to craft dynamite? Choice train underneath it and triggers adjacent dynamites. Ground only must be built on the ground. Explosive depth one. Hey, Miss Fox. Hope you've been well. Let me some Timberborn. Have fun. Hey, make elite. Yeah, I have, this is my first time playing Timberborn, so I'm kind of learning the game as I go and figuring out what I need to do, but it's been fun so far. Um, I want to dig the trees out of here rather than just flood them. Gotta research how to make dynamite, then research how to place dynamite. Well, I I did I did dynamite right here. Waiting for materials explosives, but where do you make the explosives? Have you gotta use this I think you must have to use bad water now. Need to craft the explosives now, yeah. Okay, so it's the, it is the explosives building. So I need to, uh... Crap, I wasted that, those science points because I can't do it directly anyway. Well, well, well. I gotta put it up here. I wonder if the beavers get affected by walking on tainted ground. Yeah, I gotta go up two levels there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then over here, they can't build stairs downward, can they? I mean, I've gotta like, if I build them over here, I might be able to build a road over there. I wanna get those trees out of there, is my point, I guess. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wind up flooding this thing. But this is this is getting too far from any district, so it's not gonna work anyway. They won't even build over there, it's too far. Mm -hmm. 
They really should have blocked the purchase until you unlock the explosives factory. Yeah, I feel like that would have been a better thing, too. For complete noobs like me that don't know what we're doing, that would have been great. <laughs> They will? So even though it has the red line over there, they'll go all that they'll go all that way, huh? Um cut trees. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Cut them trees down. The water level's pretty high, but it's not too bad, I guess. What are those weird looking trees? Which ones? Oh, these ones here? The I think they're just dead trees because they're in like a dead territory area. I should cut those down too. This is the Waterfalls map? I'm gonna start the same map. This is the Waterfalls map, yeah. Okay, so when it comes to the bad water... Bad water pump. A reinforced pump capable of pumping out bad water. And then I assume I would need a storage tank for bad water also. This takes 250, so I need a little bit more. I need more beavers. You beavers need to get busy. There's only 17 of you. This is not acceptable. <laughs> I have room for, like, 30 beavers. There's only 17 of them. What's not to like? You've got showers, you've got rooftop terrace, you've got campfires, you've got places to sleep. Get busy, beavers. Get busy getting busy. Put a log storage by it? By which? By this, uh, this thing here? Don't they, they stick it right in here, in this little gathering spot. And then someone else comes and picks it up and takes it all the way over to the, where we're gonna have it. Jeez, special beaver bend. For, you know what I should do? I've got my log storages over here. Um, one there and one here, but... I'm gonna get rid of that one. And I'm gonna stick it over. I'm gonna stick one over here instead, since it's like right across from where I'm doing all the all the log cutting. Do you have a hauling building yet? Uh, I'm gonna go with no. Where is that? <laughs> it's all food. Paper mills and stuff, printing press. Alito, perfect place to relax by a river. Basic needs, wet fur. Requires access to water. It's like a little beach thing, that's amazing. It takes 250. I want my beavers to be happy. Let's see if we can put one of these in here. Oh. Uh. Huh. How's that work? Not clear on where that goes. Water dependent requires access to water. Does it have to be like where a stair is or something? Like, how does this work? You need a pathway in the water, and then you can place the... Oh, like if I had it over here? <laughs> I 
Empty shore. Build on the platform. Oh, okay. So I have to build a platform first. And so it goes on the platform and then in the water? Like if I... <laughs> what if I attach it to the dam? Is that a thing? Nope. <laughs> it's definitely not that. Oh, okay, I see. I get it. I get it. Uh, it's probably not safe to have my beaver swimming by the water wheel, so we won't put it over there. Like, if I go like that, and then... <laughs> well, that's not working at all. There we go. And then like that. 250 science. I got it. I got it. Took me a minute, but I figured it out. <laughs> I couldn't... I thought I would be able to put it actually on the shore, but I guess it's like on a, like a dock, basically. Oh my god, I could... Really? I swear I tried that before and it didn't change color. <laughs> Maybe because I had the path there. We'll put it right next to the shower. Why not? All swimmers must bathe before going on the Lido deck. It's penned in. They'll be safe from the water wheels. Uh, how many gears do we have stored up now? Ten. I guess I need an actual storage for the gears, don't I? This will be logs. Um, medium warehouse. Let's use this to store gears, maybe? Then we can store 200 gears in there. The Lido works like the shower, so it does basically the same thing. It just looks like it just has more visitors I can visit it, right? You can get seven there versus like three or one. Huh. I don't know. So that might actually not make them any happier. It does increase that satisfaction. It does, huh? Because, like, once they get that buff for. Uh, shoot, where is that? Where did I see their happiness levels and stuff? I just, if I just pick one of them. Oh crap, here comes the drought. I need gears. I didn't have enough gears uh, to make a, another medium water tank. So let's quickly build some... Um, some more small tanks here. I'm gonna get some water quickly. Lower left on the goal. Oh, the goals. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so wet fur. Oh, okay. I only have half of them. Or, I'm only. Is it half of them are getting the benefit, or I'm only half achieving it? <laughs> All right, whatever. Building lacks materials. Oh, I ran out of potatoes. Guess we need to plant more potatoes. Well, actually, we've got so much food, I probably shouldn't bother. I've got an overabundance of food and not enough beavers to stuff it with. Or stuff it in. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You'll be happy to get 200 gears. I guess you can make robot beavers and stuff out of them too, right? Go into the pumpers and prioritize by... Haulers? Tick box? What? Okay, hold on a second. So I went to the pumper at work workplace. I, I increased that priority. Are you talking about something else? What am I missing? Uh, 
Do you give a beaver's dam? I do. There's a beaver dam here and one here. We got a couple dams. There's a holler thing somewhere. Uh, I guess you don't have it yet. Oh, yeah. So, um... Katrina had asked about the hauling station, but I don't know where that is. Not in here. Wood workshop, tapper shack, printing press and paper. Won't be in the power area. Bot assembler and stuff, not in there. Uh, Lido deck, herbalist, agora, carousel, dance hall. Oh my god, mud bath. Holy crap, is there anything they don't have? Between the boxes and the door? It's in the, in the landscaping area? Oh, right here, district management. Oh! Hauling posts. Haulers assist workers within a district in carrying goods, greatly increasing their productivity. Worker bonus, carry capacity 100%, hauling post. So where do I place that? Oh, oh, it's pretty big. Uh, would I put it over here near the stuff that's being hauled? Mark tanks for water. Oh yes, thank you. Water. Water, water everywhere. Too many beavers to drink. <laughs> Don't worry, you're all running out of. I'll run out of food. I've got like 800 and something. I guess when I get more beavers, I will. Or if the droughts stop my crops from growing, I guess it would be. Oh look, I'm swimming. Oh my god, they're swimming. <laughs> there we go. I got it on high speed, so they, they do their activities down there at the beach pretty quickly, but... Beaver's injured. Well, I've got... Oh, okay, he's recovering. He swam too hard. Probably what it was. A swimming injury. Right, squirrel! Midway between the production and the storage would be nice. Oh, for the haulers? Yeah. Like, if I suck it down here, maybe? I don't know. I'll put it there. A drought has started. Alright, I don't want them to run out of water, so in the for other th things. Let's turn these off for now. We'll use the stored water. I didn't get enough stored though. I've got a little bit in that tank. Those ones are full. Oh, we got 23 beavers now. With that dog coming through, it looks like you have a uh, hot dang on your hands. Hot damn, this drought! <laughs> uh, let's turn this on. Pause that for the moment. Alright, I got 253 sides. I wanted to do that um, bad water pump. That's 250. I need a pathway for that. And then I'm going to assume I need uh, storage tanks for the bad water also. Uh, okay, so extract, catalyst, antidote. Bad water. Biofuel. Huh. <laughs> Definitely don't want to drive beaver, yep. You got hit with bad water earlier, lucky. Well, I'm on a I'm on a beginner map, so I would imagine they wouldn't want to smack me with bad water really early on. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that would be disastrous to take a new player and just smack him in the face with bad water. Biofuels for the robots. Okay, that makes sense. I guess we don't make batteries in this game. <laughs> Need more houses? I've got uh, I've got a couple of them here. Three, six. Well, I mean, so the twelve on the bottom, twelve on the top is twenty-four, and another uh, another six over here. I've got spaces for thirty beavers. We're up to twenty-five now.
Maybe I should have done that second row of housing underneath here. Live and learn. Can't do it now. Look at the platform there in the way. Water activities uh, off as well, like the showers to conserve water for your crops. Well, they can. Sw well, I can turn this off, maybe. Oh, I can't turn it off. There's no like pausing option here. But this one, they're just swimming in it, so like I don't think that would be a problem. I would hope it's not consuming water that way. I'm dead in 39 logs. We've got this almost cleared out over here. Oh yeah, we're out of water. Wow, that was quick. Oh, we still have four days left and I've got no water left in the tanks. <laughs> I think we might have run it. We might run into our first water-related deaths here. Construction lacks materials. That requires logs, gears, metal blocks. Oh crap! I could. I can't build that thing anyway. I unlocked it for nothing. I don't have any metal. The metal's all the way up here. I haven't gotten any. Speaking of, let's go make a path to get some metal. Oh crap, that doesn't fit. I don't want to demolish the whole path, I just want to demolish part of it. Okay, good. Looks like this is going a long way for the... Okay, and then in metal... Scavenger flag is 250. So they got a lot of building before I can even consider doing that anyway. Make a new district so you can get more growth? I don't know how the whole district thing works. I'm... I'm incompetent. <laughs> so this is I got this this whole area is one district. If I build a second district, what is the uh do they build like a second district center or whatever? Like if I build one over here maybe, the problem being that they don't have like a good supply of things over here. <laughs> Only needs a male and a female to survive. <laughs> yeah. District center and a gate. I don't know. Uh Oh, I see. So I establish a district with its own population, resources, and an isolated path network employs builders. They wouldn't have any resources over here. That's what that manual immigration thing was about. Oh, so I can send some beavers from the one district over to the other one? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I just built all this crap over here, and there's not, I don't even have to go up that high. Hold on, let's cancel all these. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll build a new district when, uh, when I get access to explosives, and I can pass water into that... If I can put water in here, it'll bring all this in here to life, and I can build that into its own second dif district, I think. I just realized I don't need all those, because I've got this over here. I could just do, what, what is that, one stairway down? Possibly two? Actually, if it's two, I may not be able to do it, because I need a... Well, let's find out. 
No, it's only one. Yeah, crap. I'm making them go the long way for no reason. Um. Okay. There we go. Get to work. You can research water pump and fill that hole. Oh yeah, there's that, uh, this thing here. Uh, but won't they just drain it out on me? I need it to have, to have a, a supply of water. I mean, I guess the pump would do it, but. Mechanical fluid pump, pumps water, bad water up one side and discharges them on the other. But there isn't like, See, it's, it looks like it just straddles a little, a little gap. I can't just, uh, I can't put, like, piping in there or anything. Half and scavenger flag. Well, for the metal, uh, the metal, I need the, um, 250 to unlock the flag. So I'm, I'm waiting for the, the, the science points. I only have 121 right now. They get rid of the smaller pump? Well, they have... They have a large water pump, the bad water pump, a fluid pump, discharges water. Water or bad water. How does that one work? Oh, I see. So it'll, like, pump it and push it out. So there is a smaller pump, but, like, there's no piping, is there? So will it, it'll just gush out and like create a flood right here and then like pour into this opening? Yeah, I should get more science buildings. Uh, I've got five people that aren't working right now, so. Give me more science. No piping, no, okay. You have to make canals and such. Beavers bring the water to the pump. Well, so. Yeah, I like it would just pump it out onto the flat space up here, and then I assume it would a certain amount of it would gush down into this thing, but what if it spreads out to the sides? <laughs> I kinda wanna test it, but Okay, let's um we've still got a day and a bit of drought. Let's pause these again. I've got the tanks filled. Let's not use up all the water on ourselves. Flood everything. I mean, it was, it's fun to watch for sure. <laughs> well, I guess it's not directional, right? So if it's pushing it out this way, you'd think it would predominantly flow into here, but... If not, that could be problematic, I guess. I mean, using that pump, I guess I, I could put, like, I could blow a little channel in here. And then set the pump up to pump up one side and out the other. But I'm assuming that thing's going to need power. It takes 700 horsepower, so I'd have to connect power to it somehow also. Turn it and put it on the path like the shower over the pit? Put a dam on each side of it to form a channel. Yeah, I mean, that might work too. What's that symbol in the top right for this one for a requirement? Is that beaver power? It doesn't have horse like a horsepower requirement, so I'm assuming that's beaver power. All right, let's try it. Why not? How could it possibly hurt? <laughs> oh, I need I need more science points. Oh, what's going on here? Spilling needs deeper water to function. Oh, the water still got too low. It's, they've got the shower though, at least. And the uh, the drought's over now too.
The land is saved. Bring on the floodwaters. I kind of want to cause a big flood. Oh, actually. I can redirect the river channel and bring this whole thing back to life. If I if we could destroy this in here, we'd have a whole river going down here. I wanna get the metal out first. And I don't have explosives anyway, so. I don't think it's a large water pump. Takes 400. Oh, it's pretty big. That's a pretty big pump right there. Metal blocks. Uh, we got enough of scavenger flag now, so we can go to metal. Stick this over here. It's a long way for those poor beavers to run. I feel bad. Okay, this is done now. We can get rid of that. No more beaver required there. Okay, good. They're uh, they're finally collecting metals. So it makes scrap metal, and then I assume there has to be something we do. The smelter. All right, that makes sense. A mine employs miners who extract scrap metal from underground ruins. Oh, fancy. Agora. Most of it is expensive. Expensive! There'll be uh, big, strong beavers after all those long runs. Yeah, no kidding. Especially running all that metal. So I should put a hauler thing over there. Maybe I can still build one. It's kind of a long way. <laughs> uh, we should have enough gears now. Oh, no. I only have three. Dang it. This thing's off. We gotta turn that back on. Have 46 blanks so we can crank up the gears. This is set for logs. That's fine. Okay. We'll get the gear production going and then I can build the medium sized water storage tank. Oh, yeah. I gotta build storage for metal scrap. Man. It never ends. Um, I guess I'll just put it over here. Medium warehouse. Uh, metal scrap would be where? Grilled chestnuts, grilled potatoes. This is all food stuff at the bottom. I guess up at the top here? Bot heads. Paper. Paper. Wait, this doesn't even hold metal scraps. This is all medical stuff. Ah, crap. Wrong storage. Uh, I needed uh, this one here, the pile. Dirt, metal blocks, planks. Metal scrap. Dang it. Construction lacks material. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, they're snoring. Those snoring beavers. Okay, we got. I mean, my berry storage is maxed out, so I guess I could store more berries over here. Can you set work times like Oni? Yeah, there, I think there's a there's a clock over here we can set, like the 16-hour clock for working hours. We could make it longer working hours or shorter. 
If I make them shorter, it probably helps with, uh... Yeah, maybe not. I, wanna f I guess to get their, their happiness level, or their, their well-being level up, you gotta feed them all different types of foods. HD Bennett with Super Chat. Hello from the UK. Had to support the channel as I've been non-stop binging your car mechanics sim videos as I recently purchased the game. Take care. Well, thanks, HD Bennett. Appreciate the Super Chat. Hope you've been enjoying uh, Car Mechanic Simulator. I played quite a few hours of that game, actually, between the two versions of it that I played. It's a good game. 23 and a half hours of working. <laughs> I'm sure, sure that would not make them happy beavers. When you work a beaver 23 and a half out of 24 hours, it becomes not a happy beaver. It starts to rebel. They feel a little overworked. Oh my god, I don't know. let's turn that off. Poor little beaver was running on the treadmill and like... Punishing them for no reason. I mean, like setting some to work a day and then sleep at night. No, they all seem to sleep at night and then they you just you can set looks like you can set the length of their work day and that's it. But they don't like share sleeping quarters or bathrooms or anything. So like with oxygen unincluded, you're coordinating other resources. Doesn't seem like that's so much of a thing here. Uh the smelter I was waiting to get enough science points to unlock it. It takes uh it takes three hundred. We're only at two thirty so far. I have six unworking beavers, though, so we could probably make more science buildings. More science! You know what's better than science? More science! Oh, and actually, I could increase the number of workers again to build things. Shirley, the 12 month member message! Hello, Cryptic Fox! Well, hello, Shirley. Appreciate the 12 months of support, it's greatly appreciated. Yes, more science, yeah. Gotta get all the science. I wanna make explosives. Things have to go boom. If stuff's not blowing up, we're doing it wrong. Or so I've heard. Our gear storage up to 17, 18. We're almost enough to make a, a medium sized water tank now. Can't believe the year went so quickly. Man, 2023 went by pretty quick, yeah. Use all those wavering lazy beavers and teach them science. <laughs> then put them all to work. I've only got two that aren't working now, though. So that's, well, that's a plus. We're up to 27 total beavers. Oh, 28, I guess. Although, for some reason, it's only showing 27 down here. Oh, there's one incapacitated. What? Who's our incapacitated beaver? What's this? Damn, they're flying. Um, who's incapacitated? This guy is. Where are you? Oh my god, I don't... Oh, okay, he's getting, he's getting treatment. We're fine. Wasn't sure if he, like, passed out somewhere and the other beavers just left him laying there, but... No, he's actually in a medical bed. Place the tank so they can start moving the logs. Uh, fair enough. Uh, let's see. Storage. Medium tank. Stick it right there. <laughs> That's a medium tank. It's freaking huge. What is that? The size of like three or four tanks? What does it hold? Capacity 300 versus capacity 30. Okay, so it's 10 tanks worth. That's nuts. And that's medium. <laughs> that's crazy. All oh, these trees are growing back. Oh, crap. Um, where's that water pump? Bump 250. 
Oh, the levy's not unlocked. Oh, crap. No, in the hole, not the river. What? But I'm trying to take the water. Oh, oh, ew. I see what's going on here. Wait. I'm confused. Oh. Okay, that's not what I thought it was going to do. I was expecting it to, like, suck the water out of here and push it out that way. Is that not what happens? This charges water or bad water. Or does it come out of this pipe here? Because it had to be placed with this thing over the... Hold on. Uh, it had to be placed with that water spout... Over the existing water. Pumping river, dumping hole needs a beaver each. It's an emptier. Oh, wait, so will they carry like... Uh, I'm super confused. Okay. So, do they have to haul water to it then and they dump it and it will just slowly fill? Because if so, that thing's terrible. The beavers transport water to that building and water comes out of the spout. Yeah, okay, that's terrible. <laughs> I don't want that. I thought it was an actual, like, pump. But it's just a fluid dump. Okay. That's great. Okay, so that thing is uh, of no use to me. That's not what I wanted. Wasted more science. I thought it was just gonna like suck it out of the river and like spew it on the ground. <laughs> Turns a hole into a big tank. Yeah, but this is a pretty big hole. Like that, that, that would take so many little loads of water from the beaver. It would just be like brutal. I'd rather just do it with a pump. Smelter needs 300. I'll do that. I'll do that next. What a colossal waste. It takes 400 for the explosives factory, but that won't do me any good until I can get bad water. So the radioactive symbol is bad water, right? Like, I don't have to, like, refine the bad water first. Okay, yeah, no, because the centrifuge takes bad water and wood, and it turns it into some sort of a reagent. Huh. All right. It's that medium storage tank. Oh, there we go. Uh, water. Ooh, look at this. Sorry, hit the wrong button. I had to sneeze. Nerd! That was the wrong button, too. <laughs> Prioritize haulers for the tanks. Uh, haulers of work assists. Whatever. Workplace priority will bump that up a tiny bit. We got five haulers in there right now. Look at all the beavers. Like a like scurrying ants now. Need more water storage. I'm working on it. I've got this. I've got a medium-sized tank here now, plus the uh, seven other tanks. It's getting there. Water pumpers, haulers should have a tick box. Prioritize building haul by haulers. Okay. Yeah, we have all kinds of water now. R.I.P. Still snow again. No! Still snow died again? Oh yeah, died of old age. 
<laughs> Poor still snow. <laughs> you can't, just can't stay alive anywhere. I'm shocked I haven't killed any beavers off with dehydration or anything. I wonder if even with the stairs if it would have been closer to be up here. Maybe not. Expand farming a bit? I, I don't know how, it, how much I should do of that. Because I have... I have the berry thing turned off because I had so many berries. This one's got 39 berries in it. That's got 200 berries in it. That has 200 berries in it. <laughs> I've got... I've got two of the berry points turned off. They're not even bothering to collect them because we just have so much. I mean, I could do other crops, I guess. Construction likes materials. Oh, still that. And we ran out of potatoes for that thing. I, mean, I guess I could put more potatoes in. We nuke these berries in here. I think we're room for taters. Zombievers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a, a zombie beaver uh, still snows working. She won't stop. She works even when she's dead. Why are they getting so little benefit out of the campfire? Is it because there's only... Oh, wait a minute. I've got a lot of beavers. There's only enough room at the campfire for a few at a time, right? Maybe we should build a second campfire. I wonder if it'll make a difference. They don't like berries much. They don't eat them if they have to. Potatoes are better than berries. Yeah. Oh, drought approaching. How much water do we have stored? 335 water stored this time. Oh, 440. We can get the metal smelter now. Smelter. You smelted it? You dealt it. This over here is like our, our manufacturing district. <laughs> Might as well put it right next to the where we're storing the metal. Oh wait, that needs power, doesn't it? Crap, needs 200 horsepower. Uh, shoot. I right, cancel that. Oh, it's too big. No, oh, plus I got all this stuff in the way. Alright, I need to haul that junk out of the way. Come on, guys, clean up quick. There we go. It's all going to lose power when we, uh, when we lose the flow of water, but... The undead army of still snow beavers. Because <laughs> that's not weird. I got more beavers dying on me. Not of old age. Uh, let's see. We can put in some more crops. Maybe we should put in sunflowers. We haven't had sunflowers yet. Put in some of these. It's a party. Uh... 
<clears throat> added all the dead still snows from Oni and I'll have enough to take over the world. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think I had a I think I had a character in Oxygen Included named after you in pretty much every one of the colonies, and you pretty much always died at some point. <laughs> I think, anyway. Second bank for housing. I probably should do more housing. If I'm going to do another district, though, like, I I don't know. Like, I feel like I should, if I'm going to do another district, I should set it over here and then do all the housing and stuff over there. The problem being, if you set a new district, do you then have to duplicate all of these activities? Like, making planks and everything because they don't share resources? I don't know. Feels a little, a little weird to me. No, you don't? Okay, that's good. It's just Is it just for, like, housing and food? You're gonna be short on water? I mean, how long is this drought gonna last? I've got all the water in here that, that's sitting, or will be sitting. Plus, this tank holds 300, plus we've got, you know, seven other tanks. Um, only five of which are filled right now, I guess. I need to get the larger pump, or I guess another pump would have helped too. You can send resources? Okay. Oh, that's more injured beavers. I wonder if they get injured more when they're working with metal. Evaporation happens with the bodies of water. Oh, it does. It'll go away, but it does last for a period of time. I don't know how long the drought's gonna be, but... <laughs> Eight days! Okay, maybe we didn't need more water. <laughs> Let's pause these for the moment. Try to keep the water standing as long as we can for our crops and stuff. All these are dead in the water now. Um... So the windmill generates 150. We could put a couple windmills in, maybe. Oh, if only I could build there, but the beavers can't reach it, I don't think. Oh, actually, I could build right here. Hold on. Throw a windmill in there, and then, like... Connect the pipe to it. It's not a lot, and if the wind's not blowing, we won't get any power out of it, but it might give me something. I think on this mode, the drought can go up to 20 days. Okay. Still snows the Sean Bean of the Cryptic Fox Gaming Universe. <laughs> Ermagerd. Oh, I don't have enough planks. Where's my plank storage? Ah, crap. Can't do it anyway. I don't have enough planks. I guess I should have done that while I could still cut things. <laughs> well, actually, we can break this down. That'll give me some. That'll give me a few planks. That's uh six planks there. I'll still be short. I'm gonna be short by two planks. I guess we could destroy these. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's not a lot of power, but it's something. We'll help keep industry going while we don't have a flow of water.
Okay, we're, we're almost halfway through the planks or the blocks we needed for that. At least when I died in XCOM, I took the the best season with you, <laughs> or the best weapon with you. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, XCOM. I used to love that game way back in the day when it first came out. Still enjoyed the new versions of it, but there was just something about the uh, about the original that I found really captivating. Yeah, the windmills do look cool. Ugh. Sometimes zooming around like this is not easy. It's a little jerky. I love that you can get this close to the level of detail in the game. Like, zoom right in and see the stuff going on. Most of these like city management games, you get this view and that angle, and that's pretty much it. Like you, you can't, can't see anything better. Do you have plank storage, or are you just using more planks than you're producing? I think I'm just using more planks than I'm producing. I could be wrong though. Uh, I have a small storage here for planks, but I'm never getting it built up. Like I have all these logs here waiting to be turned into planks. And the wind's not blowing. Good job. Way to go, wind. You know what I should do is throw like a treadmill in here. We can connect to the uh, windmill to feed into the other thing. Like if I, if I threw a treadmill right here, I could I can connect it to the windmill, I think. Or we could do a gravity battery. <laughs> That takes uh, metal blocks too, though. I think Power World now is not too bad. Yeah, I actually really have been enjoying Power World. It's fun. Fun, like trying to capture the different animal, or the different pals or whatever, exploring, unlocking, and building stuff. I mean, I like survival games in general, though. So, like, adding in some of the other things is kind of neat. You need height for the gravity battery. Uh, I mean, that makes sense, because it's got to have a space for it to drop the weight. We're one metal block short of having this thing built. Water's doing okay. All things considered. We've still got 132 water right now. What about solar power? That's not a thing, as far as I can tell. Just wind, water wheels, and gravity batteries. Oh, we're up to 11 in uh, beaver happiness, too. Injury is no bueno. Oh, okay, it got up there because of the sunflower seeds. I guess we need to make more things. Grilled chestnuts, grilled spatterdock, bread, cattail crackers, maple pastries. A couple more points and we'll unlock the iron teeth. What's going on, Timbro? Come on, I want to mess around with the bad water. Where's my explosives at? They were down the landscaping. So, 400 to build the explosive factory. It's going to take metal to build that, too. I guess we might as well... Uh, oh, and that takes power. Wow, everything takes power. I wonder, if I build... Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Timber's back. Uh, I wonder if I build a uh, explosives factory down there and connect it to the windmill, will it channel power the other way too? So like from the building through the windmill to it when these are spinning? I'm guessing probably not, but water wheel up at the bad water river. I could put one up there, yeah. Um, except that there's there's no uh, bad water flowing when there's a drought anyway, so it's the same problem. 
Uh, I don't need... Well, actually, yeah, if I put it over here, I could I could build right here, the explosives, because they're, they're going to use the bad water here anyway. That's a good idea. I got Pluv. Water wheel. If they can reach it. I was going to... Well, like I said, if I put it... Uh, I'm slightly worried about the current. I guess, well, if I put it over here, it's better. We'll get a better flow. And then... Timber, you're pushing the microphone away. I can't see the screen. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Hey? What are you doing to me? Oh, yeah. Big suck. Uh, not that. That's not what I want. Landscaping. I can't, I can't see if I have my own microphone now. <laughs> explosives factory. There we go. Ooh, it's big. There's big explosives. Yes. That. And then we need power connector. Yes. Yes. It's good. Good. I don't need more workers, though. <laughs> Crowd's ended. This will get turned back on. Further depleting my supply of workers, really. Need a decoy mic for Timber. Yeah, right? <laughs> Anything he can rub his head on. Big suck. Here comes the bad water. There it goes. I hope they don't get, like, hurt or anything by hanging onto the ground with the bad water. Is there, like, a radiation thing we have to worry about with the radiation they're hanging out in? <laughs> I wonder if that will hurt my people. By people, I mean beavers. I, I think they're... I think they're okay if they don't go in the water, but I'm not really sure. Oh, Dad, not game time, kitty time, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's happy to grow the population, need more houses. Yeah, well, I've got like 30, but I, I think I do need more. Uh, we can put some more over here. Housing? Actually, where's that other lodging? The double lodge. A bigger lodge that fits more beavers. 150 sign. Oh. Oh, it's like two story, that thing. The condo's over here now. Wait a minute. That's at a higher. Oh. Interesting. Ha! Huh. I inadvertently created the perfect spot to put two of those things. <laughs> Can't turn the screen. There we go. My screen won't turn. What's going on? Why can't I rotate? Dang it. Jeez. It's like my E button's not working all of a sudden. Oh, we got cat hair in it. There's more on the beaver happiness screen if you take a look at it. Yeah, well, look at the will. Wait, on the wellness or up here, you mean? Population well being. Oh my god, stop that. <laughs> you have to trust them to not drink the bad water. Is that so? Well, I hope they don't drink the bad water. That would suck. Oh, man, it takes 30 metal blocks to make this explosives factory. That's going to take a bit. Especially given how far they have to haul it.
Oh, there is more. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, aesthetics. Shrubs, lanterns, roofs, scarecrows, beaver statues. Farmer monuments. We got the Lido. We don't have the carousel and stuff. Mud bath, knowledge, books. Okay, so wait a minute. We've got... Decorations down here. Oh, we can get like a little bench. We can put those on the rooftop. There we go. A little, little couple seating areas up there for them. What are you doing, buddy? We got some shrubs. It'll only take 20 science. Oh, yeah. It's like fancy living now. Lanterns. Aesthetics within one tile. Oh, they're like street lights almost. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> Uh, I need two paper mills and centrifuges to make the boom boom sticks. Oh, I do, huh? Crap. Wait, do I? Where's the... Wake up. I guess that makes sense. Dynamite is wrapped in paper. And I need the centrifuge, too. Huh? Like, this is going to create... I don't know. Hold on. Destroys terrain. Manufactures explosives from bad water. So it shows like it takes five bad water and produces one explosive. Does it require paper? Mm -hmm. You're making it hard to play, buddy. <laughs> There you go. Chill out. Sometimes you just gotta relax, cat. Okay, so the shrubs have helped. <laughs> the lanterns I didn't place yet. Uh, where'd they go? Decorations. Lanterns. Turn over the campfire? <laughs> Probably doesn't make any sense. Thunder so Factory goes next to the Rod Home so the workers have a short walk. <laughs> yeah, just blow them up on the way by. Didn't look like it before you placed uh, the dynamite, but... Yeah, I don't know. So, hold on. If I go... Well, I just said explosives is what it, what it took when I placed that other dynamite. But this thing just shows taking five bad water and turning it into one dynamite, but... Maybe there are other inputs that aren't listed there. No. Nah. What happens when you don't know what you're doing and you just fumble your way through it? Okay, we can give them more fun, I guess. Or there's... Oh, there's monuments here we can build, too. What do we got? The Farmer Monument. Ah, oh, Farmer Monument. Within seven tiles. That takes a thousand... Oh, the monuments take like a thousand. Three thousand, twelve thousand. Okay, we're not building a monument anytime soon. <laughs> too many other things we need to unlock. Look at this. These beavers, these beavers up here are living in style. Second story condo thing with the shrubbery and benches and such. We should place more shrubs. What else we got here? Uh, oh, we can put roofs on the buildings. What? Roofs? Two 
two by two roof. Scarecrow field decoration made to scare birds. It's not equal then to well, it takes two hundred. Wow. <laughs> I mean, they don't really have a big area of effect, do they? <laughs> Probably actually put them in the field, but oh my god, to destroy. I'll have to destroy some individual crop points here. There we go, and then we can put it right in there. Next one will be another sunflower. I don't know if they actually do anything other than providing an aesthetic, but I guess we'll find out. Morning, Fox. Morning, Akshay. How you doing? Need more water pumps or bigger ones? Yeah, I gotta get a bigger water pump going. Um, need 400, uh, 400 science for that. And that's gonna require whatever that sparkly thing is down there. What, something from the woodwork shop. So I guess we could just do another small pump for now. I guess I could have had a spot to put it. Yeah, crap. That light's in the way. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye, lantern. Let me clean up that mess. We can put a road in there. When am I going to play RimWorld? I mean, I've played RimWorld before. I just didn't I didn't get super into it. Um, so I would say, I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me clean this up as a priority, please. All these haulers. Nobody's cleaning up. There are five unemployed people right now. What's going on with that? Ooh, I'm out of food. Turns out I wasn't paying attention to my food supply. I need food. <laughs> Scared my cat by coughing. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Yeah, all right, it's just a cough, buddy. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Oh my god, if they would get rid of this stuff here, that'd be great. No storage space. Build more storage. Oh, crap. Storage. Oh, my plank storage is full. Uh... All right, let's build another storage warehouse over here. Oh wait, it's probably a pile for the planks, right? Yep. There we go. Now it's cleaned up. It gets me another pump going for more water. Excellent. Let's place a light uh, other side of the road and they would have built a front. Huh? What do you mean, like here? What else have we got? Beaver statue. A statue of a well-fed beaver. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> God, 
slightly more mature. All right, we got another drug coming already. Man. Hey, Cryptic, how goes the Beaver Colony? Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I think I'm kind of getting the hang of the game now, although I haven't entirely been paying enough attention to some of my resources. But now that I've figured out some of the other stuff that I'm working on, it's, um, the, the colony's going well. Nobody's died of anything but old age, so that's a plus. Maybe, yeah, I probably should make another medium tank. Uh, let's take the, how about, what did it take to build that thing? 20 gears, I've got, uh, 10, whatever. I'll leave a gap in between in case I decide I want to put a road in there for any reason. I still haven't built the, uh, the scarecrows. Oh, I need paper for the scarecrows. Oh, crap. Uh, right. Paper. I need paper. Um, okay, I think I'm going to destroy the road here. I'll put the paper mill there if I can actually craft it. Paper mill. 250. How big is that thing? Alright, well, it's got like a forward facing. Throw that there. Need a little path around this thing. Nope, not that. This thing. What's bad water good for? Uh, we use it for making explosives now. And then there's some sort of like a bad water centrifuge. Which gives us some sort of a chemical reagent that's useful for something. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't gotten far enough to figure that out yet. I'm still trying to get explosives made. Been such a slow process for me. Maybe up the haulers if you have unemployed. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh... Now we can do a third one there. Get eight haulers going now. Uh, we already have maxed out builders. So that's not a thing. We can do another science thing, I guess. Can't go wrong with more science. It takes very little resource to make more science, so I mean, why not, right? Prioritize the new pumps for all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. There we go. Very good. Very good. Oh, uh, except for water. It's short on gears right now. Oh, need gears for this thing too, that figures. We've got none. We're fresh out of gears, man. Oh, look, they've, they've taken out some of the building over here. The drought has started. Uh, I didn't get that other tank finished, unfortunately. Uh, well, let's pause all the pumps for the moment. Try to conserve the standing water we have a little bit. How many planks do I have? Only seven. I was thinking I could put another windmill in, but with only seven planks, that's not going to cut it. It takes 20 to make the small windmill. Holler for hollers. <laughs> that lets the wood pumping beaver pump this wood longer with an interruption. Giggity. <laughs> So close, we only need three more metal blocks, but I don't have any more power going over here. Big storage for both metal blocks and paper. Well, I have, uh, oh yeah, uh, I mean, I've been consuming all the metal blocks so far, but yeah, I will need storage for it. Ah, storage.
Okay, this one will be good for metal box, and this one will be good for treated planks. Wait, where's the paper? Is the paper in the other thing, in the small warehouse? Yep, dang it. Thoughts aren't in such. Yeah, I see the papers, the other type of storage. It's all right. Yeah. It's gonna take them a bit to make the paper mill, though, unfortunately. Why would you store paper outside and it gets soggy? I don't know. Why would you store things in places? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, paper gets wet in the process of making paper. <laughs> new unemployed beavers equal new shame wheel. <laughs> I should. Uh, the tricky part is where can I put it that I can actually connect it up? I think I can contribute additional power to this thing and use it as a like a throughput. Now nah, we got a problem. <laughs> it's a little crowded over here. I didn't really consider like power production when I was setting up these buildings over here. Yeah, the metal would oxidize, but only on the outside. Should be no problem because that's how the water wheel works. All right, fair enough. Hopefully it works well. I love that level of detail. It's so cool. Ooh, we got 19 planks. I got enough. Like, <laughs> now that I just built this thing, I got enough. I can put another windmill in. <laughs> now you know we expect the next timber board to be perfect. Oh, man. You're going to be sadly, sadly disappointed if you're expecting perfection out of me in any game. <laughs> Least of all, one that requires planning and foresight. That's just asking for disappointment. Uh, 85 water left. I guess we should start pumping some. Give me the water. Is there any kind of battery storage power? There's a gravity battery you can make here. Uh, but that's it. No other gravity, or no other battery options, unfortunately. 150, alright, so we quickly, quickly spiked up our water supply for a bit. I don't want to drain the water level too low, though. Otherwise the beavers won't be able to swim anymore. <laughs> Have a night, Sluppy. Saw the same wheel. Wait, what's this? Uh, did we get the bleep bloop and the blam? <laughs> it 
kind of want the wind, the wind to stop blowing so I can see if he's running on the treadmill, if this shaft here is still turning. Oh, yep, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, so it still works. That's good. Excellent. Now, now the wind can turn back on because I, I need more power than what this little beaver can produce. <laughs> I think he's going to get injured down there. Poor little beaver. This is built! Hooray! Okay, so... Five bad water produces dynamite. It doesn't look like I need... Or produce explosives, rather. It doesn't look like I need paper for this process anymore. Give me explosives. I need a place to store explosives, though. They're probably... Probably gonna want to store them down here somewhere. We do need the indoor storage building. You know what? Actually, we'll just store them right here. Why make them go very far? Store the explosives right next to the bad water supply. And it turns over nice and detail. Yeah, it's cool. I like the level of detail on this in general is really great. Particularly for like a city builder like this or like a community management style game. Normally you can't get like zoom in for that level of detail. No available workers in the district. What? Yeah, the water's low. Oh, we're out of water down here. Uh, oh, okay. 1.2 days left. I don't think anybody's too thirsty yet, though. Stand corrected, that beaver's thirsty. <laughs> He's also injured. Oh, there's all the thirsty beavers. <laughs> Bunch of thirsty beavers out there. Giggity. <laughs> oh, boy. I swear these berry bushes have been spreading. Jeez, everybody's busy. It's cranked down the hauler significantly. We didn't have anybody say they were unemployed. You gotta blow the air you wanted, the water to flow in that hole. That's the idea, but I gotta make the explosives first. Building needs power to operate, connected to... Oh, alright, I need... <laughs> figures. <laughs> of course. Hold on. We can do a little windmill up here, I guess. We need redundant power for our explosive factory. There's the drought over. Nice. Excellent. Okay, water's back. Gives us power back, which means we can cancel this thing now. You're saved, little beaver dude. She's churning out explosive now, baby! This would be if it wasn't nighttime. <laughs> okay, so there are two spots I kinda... I wanna blow up an area here. But I kind of want to get up to here if possible. I'm going to need to put those stairs back in that I took out. Damn it. Figures. Because if I can blow up this section right here, the water will flow all the way down here, all the way around this whole section, and give me another supply of water. Or not another supply, but it'll like turn that whole area green. But we're going to need stairs. Many, many stairs. I regret breaking these now, but I did use the planks to make power, so... It wasn't a complete loss. Oh. Berries in the way there. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm assuming I, in order to place the these, I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need the be the beavers to be able to reach them. Which means I'm sure I'm gonna need the path. Let me see what I'm doing over there. Oops. Let's dig those trees out of there. Hopefully that works. Focus on extra food and water next. Drought looks to be getting longer and longer. Yeah, the farther you progress into the game, it makes sense for it to be uh, going longer. Beaver tree wave high chat. <laughs> hey, Stefan, how you doing? <laughs> Don't forget about the observatory for science. Yeah. Oh, I have over a thousand science now. I could I could build one of those things, couldn't I? How big is it? Wow, it's big. We got room over here. Thousand science points. Blammo. Look at the size of that sucker. What's that take to make? Pine resin? Ah, oh, crap. Where the heck do I get, <laughs> where do I get pine resin from? It's got to be from that wood workshop thing, right? In here? No, that actually requires pine resin. So, oh, the tapper shack will do it. That takes 500. In some ways, I wish it wouldn't let me unlock things before I have the requisite things unlocked. I feel like that would be kind of handy. We're almost there, beavers. Nemature pines. Well, I have pine trees here, but I, I suppose I would have to mark them for not to not be chopped down, right? Is there a way to do that? Unmarked. Oh, okay. I can just unmark the tree cutting area, and then they use that to sap for the the pine, right? <clears throat> I'm assuming that's what we have to do. So we'll unmark a couple rows back here. Replant dead trees not marked for cutting. Oh, sweet. They got, wow, they got that done quick. Uh, okay, how many explosives do we have, I wonder? I want to make something go boom. Dynamite. <laughs> I don't know how big the area of effect is of this blast, but <laughs> we're gonna try to open that sucker up. This is my priority. Top priority, baby. It's all about the explosives, and each one of these only require one explosives. Uh, how many have I got in storage right now? Twenty-one. <laughs> we could blow up all kinds of stuff. Only covers a single block. Yeah, but I guess they're, they're chain reaction on them, right? I just need to connect it to this gap right here, and then it'll all flow down there. Oh, baby. I've been waiting the whole game to blow something up. <laughs> it's not about only fix the tiles on. Yeah, that's why I put so many of them down. You're going to flood downstream. What you talking about? It'll go into here. It'll spill into this. Down to this, down to this, all the way down to here. 
and then fill out over here. Oh, crap. <laughs> this might be worth demolishing. Although, actually, if I don't demolish that, it'll just trap all the water in here, won't it? Or will it overflow because of the waterfall? You know what? I should probably demolish the blockade at the end of that. I'm shocked at you. I'm just shocked that you didn't let me, like, flood my place. <laughs> Joseph, of all people, I thought you would let me cause the flood. <laughs> Hope it doesn't affect the flow to your village. I don't know, yeah, I hope so too. I guess we'll see what happens. If it does, I can block it off, I guess. There's quite a bit of water coming in here, though. I don't know if they can even reach all that. They may only get to one of them. Replace with dams? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta, like, break out the stuff that's here first, though. <clears throat> oh, you're right, it is too far from the roads. Ah, crap. Forgetting about the road thing in this game. There we go. Let me blow something up. Such a peaceful game, unlike other survival building games. Yeah, it's it's this is like a city management style game, right? Like a lot of them have similar, um, you know, sort of like peaceful aesthetics to them. What's interesting about this one is the level of detail that's in it and the novelty of it being the beavers. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, we want the dam in here. Oh, I trapped a beaver. Poor oh, guy's stuck God. there. He's like, oh man, <laughs> somebody help me. Don't worry, we'll get you. We got you. Oh, there's two beavers stuck there. They're like inside of each other. Maybe they're making more beavers. <laughs> there's a, at least two beavers there, possibly three. Come on, hurry up with those logs. Oh, they're stuck there overnight. No. <laughs> I hope they don't die before they can, like, go and get food and water and stuff. Darn it, this was trying to tell you. Oh, no. You need a, you need a uh, path out that way for them to get to it. Prioritize the farthest one away to get... Oh. <laughs> I didn't see your message. They're hungry, too. Aw, oh, come on, you guys. I know it's, it's a long way to carry logs, but... Four more logs and we can get them out of there. Just don't die on me. There we go. There, you're free. Good job, guys. Oh, the other one vanished too, that's funny. Alright. So, we don't have a drought right now, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and blow this up up here. How do I blow these things up now? Detonate. Oh, jeez, it's instantaneous. <laughs> I thought the beaver would go do it. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, we revitalized pretty much the whole land. Except for this little section in the middle here. Did it, uh, did that affect the water flow over here? It doesn't look like it did. The water over here still seems good. That's awesome. Hooray! We blew things up! Now I need more... Th I gotta blow more things up. I'm, I'm not satisfied. More explosions are required. Oh, 
Get me the boom boom stuff. Tim up top with floodgates, extra water storage. Uh, where like up here kind of thing? And I'm sure I understand what you mean. Because like from this point on, all the water will sit here after when there's a, um, a drought and the water stops flowing. Because I've got the dam at the end here. Well, once they get that finished, anyway. We'll have the dam at the end, so it'll. It'll trap a certain amount of water in here. Dynamites have different detonation devs. Yeah, so some of them I don't have unlocked yet. So we've got... Um, this other dynamite is two depths. This is three depths. I just don't have science for it, too. That's not going to get finished until we get resin. So we need... Uh, the Tapper Shack is 500. Stick that there so we can get sap. No, oh, wait, how much dynamite have we got left? Oh no, only 41 explosives! <laughs> I've got so much explosives! Oop, it's ready! Three, two, one, detonate! Um... That was anticlimactic. Not gonna lie, I was expecting the water to kind of flow in there. <laughs> it didn't happen at all. Um... Is it the right depth? Yeah, the source of the original stream, take advantage of the high terrain, you can release water when it's low. Oh, like in here you mean? Right there? Trap it up in this area? It's pretty deep. Well, crap. Bad tide approaching. Um... That, that's not good. <laughs> oh no. I just, I just got this all set up for clean water and it's all about to turn radioactive. <laughs> right depth, not enough flow. Yeah, there's just not enough water going through there. Oh crud. What are the odds I can get a dam set across the end of this thing? Actually, that won't stop it because the bad water is going to come in. Um, I need a system across here that's going to let me block off the bad water flow. Um, which would be the floodgates, right? Blocks the water up to an adjustable height. Double floodgate? It takes planks, but... I don't think it'll cause flooding, right? Just a regular floodgate? Like, I think if I put a floodgate across here, I can then close it and stop the water from flowing, right? If I'm not mistaken? I hope. <laughs> Blow a huge hole in your bad water or redirect it. Well, I, th I think it's going to come down the regular water flow. I... I thought that's what um, Katrina was saying earlier. You need a platform behind it. Oh, okay. Bathing uh, platforms. And then this stuff all needs to be prioritized, but the problem is going to be that I have... Uh, only two days to complete that thing, and not a lot of planks. 
fact that I have no planks. That's great. I'm starting to start breaking down stairs again. <laughs> You don't need that many floodgates? Okay, so here's the thing, like, I'm not entirely... Oh, I guess that you're right, I could put a levee in there. So if I got rid of a couple of these... I don't want to kill my water flow during normal times, but... If we put the levee in... Oh my gosh, beavers, I hope you work quickly. They'd already started building some of them too. There's some blanks in the water now. Beavers don't fail me now! Also change that one levee blocking off the bad water to a gate so you can direct the new bad water that way. Change that one levee blocking off the bad water to a gate so you can direct... Well, these, these ones aren't levees. These are just like, reg this is a regular dam. Oh, and this one here needs to be... Uh, this needs to be something else, too. We gotta destroy that. And this needs to be a levee. Or not a levee, a floodgate. Otherwise, the bad water will flow in here and it'll contaminate all my trees. Actually, even just the... F oh, crap. It didn't occur to me. The, the bad water right here will still wreck of the trees over here. Savor it the rare chance I have for actual advice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. We're out of time. There's no way we're going to have time for this. Fortunately, it only takes logs for these, but the, the walkway behind it is what's expensive. Come on, beavers. You've got like a bajillion logs here ready to work with. Saw faster, man. Don't build all those platforms, just build some stairs into the water for them to build. Oh! Okay, hold on. Quickly, beavers. You're out of time. Oh, they're going to get slammed. <laughs> Here comes the bad water. Let the bad water just go to the direction you just blew open. Oh, that actually would have been a good idea. Except, like, uh, I would have had to get up here and build the double high. Oh, God. Look at it. Oh, man. It comes in fast. Well. That's a whole lot of... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop this. Don't pump the water, we need whatever fresh water we got now. 4.8 days worth of it. Son of a... <laughs> that was, uh... Well... Good times. Oh, you know what? I probably should turn off the shower. We probably don't. Oh, that's already off. At least the power keeps going. <laughs> no! Look at all this redness. It's... Oh, my poor beavers. 
That's a diseased bunch of beaver right there. Oh, look at everything dying. I didn't do anything fast. Oh, I got this finished. How do I... Blocks water up to an adjustable height. Well, how do I adjust the height? Oh, there it is. Height. Yeah, it's still the water still got contaminated though. Boat. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. Oh my god. My 11-year-old just texted me at quarter to one in the morning. <laughs> she shouldn't even be awake. What are they missing for these other things? Oh, just planks. Well, so much for that. I mean, we had we have a stockpile of food so they can still eat. We have a stockpile of water so they can still drink. I wonder how long it takes when the fresh water flow returns for it to like flush out all the nastiness. Brutal. Yeah, we're building the stable door off the horse. Yeah, we sure are, but I just figured like this will come in handy for the next time. Still have two and a half days. Oh, uh, all my poor crops are just croaking. The only thing staying alive is this little section of trees over here, because the water in this part right here is okay. <laughs> Didn't have a reservoir of good. No, well, the intention was to close this off so that all this would be a reservoir of good water. Uh... But didn't quite turn out that way. Like they have good, they have good drinking water still. I have five hundred and some out of that, so they're they're not gonna like die of thirst or anything. They're not having to drink bad water. What's this blocked by bad water? Oh, that's all. <laughs> Four beavers are unwell. This beaver spent too much time in contaminated bad water. It's fine for now, but we'll get sick in a few days. That's good. Fun times. Good thing I have these things here. I, gotta, you know, I should probably make another medical bed. <laughs> We're gonna need it. That's under well being. Oh, wait, basic needs injury. Is there something here for like. Creates antidote secure contaminated beavers. Okay, we need that. Our beavers are gonna be a little nasty right now. I need treated planks. Well, I can't make that yet. Dang it. Okay, so this is closed off now, effectively. Which is okay. Just letting it flush all the bad water out the right way. So if I'd gotten that built in time, it would have it would have worked. <laughs> but I didn't. So our beavers are a little sick. There's only four of them that are contaminated. Probably the ones that were building the dam over here. I don't know how long it's gonna take the crops to rebound, but. Go build a couple flood dates in your dam farther down so you can flush out the bad water quickly. Oh, in here you mean? Or down here? I feel like it would take longer to go through that process than anything else. Actually, let's go ahead and we'll just demolish one of these. Oh, I can't. If 
I could just cut this loose, I could just let the bad water flow out now. Okay, there's the there's the clean water again. Oh, that's gonna take a bit, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> what a mess. Move path then demolish. Oh, that's alright. We'll just I'll just do it this way, I guess. This little corner in here might be a little bit problematic. No, even that's flushing out okay. water got in here, but I couldn't get good water to go in. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Seriously? Now I've got uh, I've got a pool of contaminated crap in here. Uh, I wonder if it'll go away on its own. I suspect not. Maybe it'll maybe it'll evaporate. That's brutal. I couldn't get the fresh water in there, but I got the bad water in there. Pump it out? Yeah, I don't know where to... I mean, I don't know how to pump it out of there. It's too... Uh, it's up pretty high. I could do the bad water pump, maybe. I wonder if it'll... Oh, there it goes. It's gone. It evaporated on its own. Thank goodness. Man, what a mess. Alright, I gotta get going. It's uh, 10 to 1 in the morning my time, and uh, my 11 year old is texting me, so that's that's probably not a good sign. Uh, I think we, we did pretty well, I think, for my first attempt. It's an easy map, obviously. I'm not on the difficult levels. But at least I have a better sense of how the gameplay is now, and I think my next run will probably go better than this one did. Um, but nobody died of anything other than old age, so not a complete loss, although four of them have radiation poisoning. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Good times. Anyway, thanks so much, everyone, for coming out tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, this, again, is Timberborn. Update 5 came out last Thursday, so if you're interested in playing, uh, this is some of the new stuff that's in that update. Appreciate again for the developers providing me with a code so we can uh, we can play it tonight. Thanks again for the super chats this evening. I'll probably be playing Power World tomorrow night. Go capture some more of those little critters or whatever. But uh, thanks so much, everyone. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.